Hey friends, welcome back. Hey Munchie, how are you? Oh no, not my. <laughs> Sorry about that. My other computer was not muted. Sorry for the echo. But yes, welcome in, welcome in. How are we today? Oh my goodness, not my crops, struggling. Baby, baby. You're working on some dreamlight goals? Come on now. What are the goals for tonight? Or you're actually working on dreamlight goals to get dream light. I follow, I follow. <laughs> Hey, Deanna. Hey, Catalina. What's going on, you guys? How is your night going so far? How are we? How are we? We are back. I'm so excited for tonight. We're going to be grinding it out today, guys. Wells. What's going on, Wells? Welcome back. I've missed you guys. It's only been a day, but it feels like it's been forever. <laughs> Hi, Theodora. Yay, keeping you company through another sleepless night. Hello, hello. Yes, hopefully my lovely voice will help drift you off to sleep at some point tonight. <laughs> How are you? So excited to see all you guys again. Look at that, an event already. Let me try to craft all this up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, here we go, here we go. Off to a good start. Man, do I have some things to share with y'all today. Gotta feed the critters. Uh, here, take your raspberry. Oh, yeah, starting off, look who's next to me. Not me getting, I think this is the brown raccoon. I am so excited. I couldn't believe it. I looked in my, um, my critters menu or my companions menu and I realized that I had somehow... Got the black raccoon. Whew, I was so excited. You couldn't believe it. I started, I literally let out a scream. But look how cute my little buddy. Oh my God, his little hands together. I can't. We have to give him a name. The town is coming together. Wow. Yes. Is it your town or my town? Oh my gosh. I am, uh, I'm slightly overwhelmed too because guys, look at all, look at all this. Look at all of this. We have so much to do. We got so much to do. First things first, though. Do I have any money? Oh, only 4,000 gold coins? <laughs> Not us on the struggle bus, baby. Oh, it's a nice dress in there. Oh, let me show you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's so much. Yours, mine is covered in thorns still. <laughs> it will get there. It will get there. Start ripping them things up out the ground. Y'all, check out your girl's house. Ooh, not me coming up now. <laughs> yes, won't he do it? I went ahead and put me some boyoyoy soup on the table. <laughs> I got me a fresh bowl of soup. I put the, the stove, which is, I don't know what's happening to it. It's gone. It's invisible. It's a magic stove. It only shows when it wants. <laughs> Okay, my knee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm standing a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> yes, the famous chair. Look at this. I just could not resist, you know? Look how comfy. We look expensive. Okay, I've got... Um, uh, what's his name? I've got Remy's painting on the wall and also a gift from Wally on the wall as well. So exciting. And our, of course, our new, our new fireplace. I just wish in the future we'll be able to interact with some of these objects. Like, I would... Love to be able to light a fire. So here's some things I've learned, guys. Well, we may have to test some of them, but I, from posting um, the, the videos that I've posted, I posted a new video today about some of the things I hope to see in the game in the future. And then also from the tips videos, I have a lot of people commenting, sharing their own tips. And someone said that we can actually put our in-house storage box, this brown one here, in our inventory. And then we can go buy more of these storage boxes from Scrooge. And we can place these around town instead of the other ones. And as we expand our house, 
we can get all the way up to all 42 slots of storage in here. And so the other, I, I hope this makes sense. The other storage boxes that we buy from Scrooge should also have 42 inventory. I don't know how true that is, but I thought that was very, very interesting. And if it's, if it's true, that's an excellent tip. <laughs> Everyone in town has all three gifts except Remy and Ursula. They're sleeping. Not them sleeping on you. Mm, 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 mm. They missing out on all the fun. See, that's why they got to stay awake. That's why they got to stay awake. So, yes, there's that. Also, that would be a game changer. Test it, test it. Let's test it. Let's see. Now, I may need to upgrade my house, like, one more time. How much storage do I have now? Okay, so I only have two. Uh, or, uh, yeah, two lines like the normal storage box. So let's do it this way. Let's upgrade the house once more. Let's just see how much that costs. And then we'll see if it comes, if we buy another storage box, if it will come with the same amount of storage. Oh, I saw they announced on Discord that the OVs are working on more stuff for another patch, but they hinted at something to do with the critters, and I'm guessing ravens. Ooh, that would be so exciting. Another point that someone made that it was like really, really good point. Like I, we wish that we could interact with the critters a little bit more. So like once you have a critter that's a companion, if they could help with things like gardening or fishing, like wouldn't it be cool if the rabbits helped with gardening and like the crocodiles um, helped with like fishing or something like that. And it'd also be cool if we could pet them. That would be really, really fun. Hey, Esther, welcome in. How are you? You finally bought the game a few days ago and you love it so much. I am so happy for you. It brings us so much joy. It's This game is a bonding moment for all of us. And we may just have something special in the works regarding animal companions. <gasps> Don't get me too excited now. Uh-oh. Okay, if you fancy improvement to your house, I can give you more storage space and more rooms. I'll also add an upper floor. With all of that, you'll be able to rest up lickety split oh oh <laughs> perhaps some other time we do not have 20,000 gold coins we are brokety brokety <laughs> Esther I'm really really good I'm super excited to be back oh yeah see everybody literally everybody needs something from me right now guys we got to start working on some of these quests ASAP pronto I'm going to go get Remy because I'm actually working on improving his gardening skill because another tip, <laughs> yet another tip I have received or learned from posting these videos is that the more of your Valley members who have um, like level 10 friendships with you, the better overall everyone will be at, you know, gathering and collecting and all that stuff. So I'm going to tell him to hang out. Thanks. Now let's go harvest up these carrots. I can confirm that Remy is probably one of the best options when it comes to gardening right now because he really does. He's so little, he stays out of the way. It's amazing. It's so amazing. All is well. Okay, girl. You know, that's what I love to hear now. That's what I love to hear. All right, let's harvest up these carrots. Get this going. All right, question of the day. What'd you all have for dinner? What did we have for dinner? I had some J Jamaican food. I had like jerk chicken, cabbage, rice and peas, some mac and cheese, beef patty. Ooh, it was delicious, delicious. When do you get Remy and pumpkin? Okay, Esther, so you should get Remy um, very early on. So, well, actually I, I take that back. So you can get Remy as soon as you unlock um, the castle and once you do that, you'll go into the castle, and that's when you can enter the realm worlds. And then you get to choose who you want to kind of save first. And the first one I chose to save was Remy. So it's up to you, but you can get Remy. I think he's on the far right-hand side of the doors that you can access. So just work with Marlin, and he'll get you, to the, he'll get you on that quest. You had fried chicken last night? Ooh. I love me some fried chicken now. You had cabbage soup? Why the frowny face? That actually sounds really good. I love cabbage. Cottage cheese pie? Oh my goodness. That sounds like a delight. Okay, another memory. I 
Oh, the question was, what did we all have for dinner tonight? Oh, morning here now. Oh, okay. So what's for breakfast then? I had snacks. I might make a chicken patty though. Okay. A little chicken patty. Had a burger and boiled potato. Okay. Oh, look at the Lord's blessing us with all these little events. Okay, we got our relationship approved. Hey, Sarah. Welcome in. I hope you're well. I felt like the grandparents from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, no. Oh. Well, if it makes you feel any better, one of my favorite things to make is like, I guess it is cabbage soup. It's just like cabbage bowl with like... Uh, chicken stock and a bunch of seasonings, onion and garlic, and I love to add like hot sauce to it. It's so good. Mmm, pancakes. That would be delicious. Oh my goodness. A nice hot pancake, nice and soft. You had jerk chicken, rice, and broccoli? Oh my god! I had jerk chicken too today. Or for dinner. I had Jamaican food. Look at us. We are connected, Deanna, at this point. <laughs> Yeah, see how Remy does not get in the way at all? Like, he just, he just, look, he keeps his distance, and he's just so tiny. Oh, yeah, we're getting blessed with all the extras right now. That's right, great minds think alike. Oops. Oh, my God, I want pancakes now. Ooh, banana or apple. Definitely going apple. That would be mm, scrumptious. Scrumdillyumptious. Yes, with honey, jam, ice cream, and chocolate sauce and uh, strawberries. Oh, man. Oh, you're going all out. You're going all out. Breakfast of champions at this point. Look at this. Look at all these um, little orange, or I guess it's yellow, events that we're getting right now. Are they called events? Am I? That might be the wrong word. <laughs> I call them events because it feels like a little competition or something. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, one last carrot here and another one. Is this a glitch? <laughs> Wally's like, are you serious? You're gardening without me right now? I'm sorry, my little friend. How are you today? Yahoo! Let's try to speak again. Wally. Let's try one Wally for yes and two Wallies for no. Um, do you like the village? Oh, he loves the village. So, do you prefer fishing or gardening or meeting new people? Let's say, do you prefer fishing? Wally, Wally. So, no. I would. I knew he was going to say no. I just wanted to see. <laughs> um, I finally understand you. Whoopee! Oh, my God. He's so cute. You're my best friend, Wally. I just call them bonuses, like the bloom and the orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, bonuses is a good word. I like that. Sorry, hold on, Goofy. I got a carrot on the ground. I got to pick that up before I sell. Okay. Now we are good to sell. All right, so let's sell all these. Look at all of that. Oh, my, oh, my. Talk to me nice. 9K? I can work with that. I can work with that. Oh. You know one thing I can't stand? My, um, I don't know if any of you guys wear contacts, but sometimes my contacts just go blurry, and it's like, I can't see nothing. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Uh-oh, not us missing all these carrots back here. Hello? No, no, we don't want to plant canola there. One thing I could say I still love about carrots so much is that they're such a low-maintenance crop. You literally plant them, water them once, and then, boom, you are good to go. Oh, Theodore, I know we were going to test the storage box, but I think we should wait to test it until we can get a third line of storage once we can upgrade our house again because then we'll be able to really tell if we'll get that extra storage space. Or maybe I'm thinking about that the wrong way. They are actually, I think, monthly contacts. The doctor says that I can sleep in them for like up to five days and then take them out. So I take them out like every two or three days when I go to sleep because I can sleep in them as well. But they just randomly go bur like blurry sometimes. I don't know why. And then it takes a minute for it to like readjust in my eye. 
They real fancy contacts or something because he said they're like weighted at the bottom, so they are supposed to <laughs> readjust. I said, um, hello, Danny. Hello, welcome in. Everybody say hello, Danny. Yes, they're sleep contacts. I know. Every time I tell people that, they're like, um, you do what now? <laughs> Definitely agreed. Waited out. Just got excited. Okay, cool. I'm super excited, too. I, I have to know if that's actually a thing. We can get to 20K easily, so we'll probably be able to see this stream if that is a possibility or not. We will definitely see. But can you imagine if it actually works? Oh, man. We found the hack of a lifetime for the game. Oh, I also fixed my storage, so I am super clean in my inventory. I'm about to show y'all that next. I hate when I accidentally plant stuff. At least it was a carrot. <laughs> Look at my little raccoon buddy. Remy, you're doing a fantastic job. I just want you to know that. We do appreciate your contribution. Oh, we almost forgot a little one. Okay, we got some carrots. Yep, yep, yep. Somebody also mentioned that onions are great to plant, and I don't know why I haven't tested onions yet, but let's do that as well today. I worry, though. What happens if it's unintended to be able to buy more and they patch it out? Oh, my. <gasps> that would be a nightmare, right? Because what if they patch it out and then you just lose everything that was in the storage boxes? Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Talk about stressed. Stress, okay? Hi there. All right, let's sell up these here carrots, some sugar cane, sell the corn. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, if we lost everything in the storage bins, I would be so sad. So sad. All right, so here's what I did. So you can see my inventory, my actual personal inventory is actually pretty cleared up, which is nice, which is nice, right? And then I went ahead and organized everything in here. So this is all food items. There's nothing new there. Um, I think I changed this one specifically to have like craftable stuff in it. So it's got like bricks, sticks, iron ore, all that stuff. So it's craftables because it's right next to the crafting table. And then all of the other storage boxes, like I have one in every biome, and all of them contain literally anything that's specific to that area. So like the storage box on the beach, as you can see, has sand, coconuts, all that good stuff. So my storage, I'm feeling really, really good about right now. We could try to keep it between us a little K-Gang secret. Ooh, K-Gang, I kind of like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's take a look at all the quests that we have right now. So we have the main storyline quest, which we need to um, rebuild, place 10 pieces of furniture in um, the Forest of Valor so we can work on that today. And then um, we have something for Anna. We're still working on the Mysterious Wreck for Goofy. Bearing the Eel. So this one is from Maui. He wants to help us plant coconuts. And Remy's recipe book. He needs us to help us find... He needs us to work with Mickey to find the recipes. And so, yeah, we have a lot. And we still need to do the broken memory. So let's work on the broken memory because this one is like the oldest one we have for Wally. We got to make sure we get that man settled away. I can't wait until this game. I'm going to wait until my Switch fix and come back uh, to uh, try and fix it myself. It didn't work. Wait, as your, your Switch isn't working, the game's not working on your Switch right now? Yes, K-Gang, you love it? I know, I kind of like it. What's up, K gang? Gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> the Goofy Quest gets you Ariel. <gasps> Ooh, is that right? Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That does make sense. This game wants you busy. This game wants you stuck in this world for ever. <laughs> oh, look at my little buddy. Don't be scared. You know I'm here to feed you. You know I'm here to feed you, my friend. Uh-oh. Well, I was, until I realized I didn't have anything in my inventory for you. <laughs> All right, I've got, a, I've got a snack for you, my friend. Here. Here you go. Take a scallop. 
I got all but Eric to level 10. Okay, that's that's hard work right there. Uh, does anyone know how uh, to water dried flowers in the game? It's Dreamlight Daily Duty. Water dried flowers? Let me see if I can see it in my Dreamlight. Probably under foraging. Harvest different fruits, mushrooms, oregano, remove small thorns, feed the squirrels, sell fruit. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, water dried flowers. Duh, that makes sense now. Yeah, it's, um, you just need to use your watering can on them. The ones that are brown, like how your crops look like when you haven't watered them yet. Thanks, T.S. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at y'all. I love that y'all are helping each other. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, Remy, thank you so much for your contribution. Bonjour. Bonjour. Let me see. Do you have a question? Is there any organization? <laughs> I know I say that word funny. Everybody always gets me when I say it. <laughs> Is there any organization that inspects food safety in the valley? Um, I don't think oh. so. Well, we need one. I want people to know it's safe to eat at my mm. restaurant. Actually, you've cooked with me. Maybe you could give the restaurant a safety rating. How would you rate my restaurant on safety? You know, Remy, I love you. You're the best, honestly and truly, but you are a, a rat <laughs> cooking in a restaurant. But you know what? You're a magical rat. And in that case, we're going to say extremely safe. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. I was certain everything was up to code, but it's nice to have the re uh, reassurance. <laughs> Thanks. Anything for you, Remy. Oh, I got to pick up all my sticks every day because these, uh, these storage boxes are not cheap, my friends. Okay, let's also, before we get started on the quest, let's check out what's in the store today. Your girl has been buying up a storm, which is why I am brokeity broke, <laughs> my friends. I don't have no monies. Okay, we got a plushy shelf. That's cute. All right, we got a little uh, bucket with a, a big old spoon in it. A plushie that looks like a nice lamp. Ooh. Hey, I think living here is a marvelous opportunity. Marvel, uh, that's a marble table. Some wallpaper here. That's nice. Alright, so we've got a pirate's hat. I already have these soup earrings, and I think I already have this bag. So we got a hoodie, a shirt, and a skirt that looks like dessert. Does wood spawn on the beach or no? Because none are spawning for me. Actually, you know, now that you say something, I don't think I've seen um, wood on the beach. I've usually only seen it in like the forest, forest areas. I think you have to have like trees. Okay, so we have a lot of the same stuff in here today. This dress is nice, but I don't think we need it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, they just land like where bushes and trees are. You know what, Mickey? I probably should talk to you because you're going to go to bed soon. Yay, a chest. Ooh, 200 gold coins. I'll take it. You can actually place them small, boxy-looking trees anywhere to have a tree farm. <gasps> Munchie. That is such a good idea. Have four trees in each biome, That um, and that biome was the only one. That's so smart. A tree farm. Hiya, pal. Okay, so we're going to talk to Mickey Mouse first just because you know this man go to sleep early. <laughs> He's going to be asleep in like 10 minutes. Just wait. All right, so Remy's recipe books. Oh, yeah, I hid them from the forgetting. I wrote down where I put them on this list. Oh, no. The paper must have gotten wet. We can't read this. But when I wrote the list, I was thinking about where I hid the books. Say, could you use your magic to turn those notes into that memory? I really do think that we can, my friend. We are magical, after all. I play a lot of Minecraft. LOL, farms are that way. Oh, oh, farms are the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes perfect sense. All right, so we've got hints. 
All right, so I know that the middle one, that's inside that cave that's on Dazzle Beach. The one on the end over here, that looks like Dazzle Beach too, right in front of the bridge that leads out over the water. And now the last one, that's by Goofy's house. Isn't that Goofy's house in the background, y'all? I love this stuff. This is so like so much fun to me because it's like solving a puzzle. They say you can spawn 20 wood in each biome except for Dazzling Beach. Ooh. I tried to fix it myself by swapping batteries, but didn't work. I had, so I had to package it up. Oh, so it was actually the switch. I'm sorry, Sarah. Hopefully you get it back soon. OMG, OMG this mission, shaking my head. Steps by the beach, correct. Okay. Hi, Ky is it Kyle or Kylie? How are you? Welcome in. Definitely Goofy's house. Okay, so we figured out all the locations. TS, you're playing yours on PS. Nice. Well, what do you know? <laughs> okay, Kyle. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, let's go get some of these. Oh, I love it. It's so much fun dissecting pictures and stuff. Not, not Merlin. Also, I've been saying Marlin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's Merlin. Melon. <laughs> Y'all will find out real quickly that I am terrible with, like, names and stuff. I just, uh, I don't know why. All right, I think it's this one right here, right? Oh, yes, we found one. Okay, so we found one of Remy's recipe books. Nice. Got the gardener achievement. Ooh, you're a professional. All right, let's go see if we can find the rest on Dialsel Beach. I was going to just run over there, and then I remembered <laughs> why do that when you can fast travel. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so one by the bridge. <gasps> Look at the little turtle. Look at you, you little cutie pie. Oh, this must be it right here. Okay, we've got number two. Oh, not me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is not good. <laughs> I made a mistake. We're gonna have to replant the ground there. <laughs> okay. All right, enough. <laughs> Get it together. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, let's do that part right here. Just fix this really quickly. There we go. A butamus. If you leave those after three days, they fade back to regular ground. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, Munchie, I think you mentioned that as well, that they were trying to decide how long until um, unused holes in the ground just disappear. Oh, wait, okay, where was the third one? Um, there was one there by the bridge. And I've already forgotten. Uh, memories, okay, let's try this again. Oh yeah, okay, so inside the cave. Let's go check inside the cave here and see if we can find the last recipe book. Maybe we'll learn a new recipe too. It's past 2 a.m. here uh, for you. Oh my goodness. It's so late, night owl. Just fed the cute red fox, oh my gosh. The foxes are adorable. I can't wait to see them in person. All right, let's see, what part would it be? It's probably all the way down here at the bottom. Maybe. I lied. Okay, no, no, no. It's either up here or if it's right outside the cave. Oh, no, I am so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have a habit of, like, um, like, talking in a British accent. I just love, I love the British accent, so I'm actually English- I'm sorry. If that's rude, I'll stop. <laughs> Why did I feel like I missed it? I'm feeding a raven? Oh. Okay, so you know what? The ravens, do they? I can't wait to see. I haven't seen the ravens either, so it would be cool to see. Do they, like, fly, or do they just, like, bounce around on the ground behind you? It's 9.35 p.m. Okay, night just getting started. Okay, so let's just make sure we're doing a, a good check around. Girl, you passed it twice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not me trying to multitask. Okay, not there. Oh, 
It's literally sticking out of the ground. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mid-level. Yeah, they fly. Oh, that's so awesome. 8.35 p.m. for you. Okay, okay. 6.36. Is 6.36 p.m. or a.m.? Lilo, welcome in. Hi, I'm new to the stream. I just bought Disney Dreamlight um, a few days ago, and I've been so obsessed. I watched a few of your past live streams of the game, and I love your vibe. Thank you so much. Oh, p.m. California. All right, all right. Cali, baby. Thank you so much, Lilo. And welcome in. Welcome to the family. I'm so glad you're loving the game. Welcome to the Addicted Crew. <laughs> T.S. Stop. Not 2.30 a.m. You got to work in four hours. I said, why you look so tired? First of all, mind your business. <laughs> Just know I had good reason to be up late. <laughs> Diabolly? Is it Diabolly? Or maybe I just say Gaiman? I don't want to botch your name. I'm so sorry. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. All right, so we found all the recipe books. I even had to sneak a few minutes playing during my breaks at work. That's how it is. You got to you got to do it. <laughs> A barista, barman, waiter uh, at a Farsta hotel restaurant. Nice. You probably make money. Money, baby. Yeah, so I've been talking on some of my past live streams about how I am currently unemployed, a stay-at-home mom at the moment. Um, I had a job, but I quit it because it was not going well for my mental health. It was just too stressful. So, yeah, I've been kind of just trying to figure out what I want to do. And I just don't see myself going back to the corporate world right now. So what I've been thinking is that I might go back into the restaurant industry myself, doing some serving and stuff. I used to do serving. It was good money, to be honest. It was really good money. Diabolical. Oh, I got you. I got you. I think I read it wrong. <laughs> I'm good. I love this game, even with all the crashes and such. It's so fun. What are you playing on Switch, PC, or like a gaming system? All right, where is... Oh, Remy's right behind me. I'm like, where's Remy? Not him following me the whole time. Like, hello, you can give me my books now. <laughs> PS4. Yeah, that sucks, man. I don't know why the game crashes so much. Um, it crashed for me twice when I first started out, but I haven't had another crash since then. Okay, it says, do you want to give these items Mickey's notes on Remy's special re recipe? Oh, all of these are Mickey's notes. Okay, nice. I love how Mickey is like co-chef. <laughs> Oh, my books, that's great. Thanks, Dot. Oh, I know just the dish I want to yeah. make for you. It's the recipe with the peanuts. If you get me some peanuts, I'll prepare you a dish you'll never forget. Um, I haven't seen any peanuts in the valley. Uh... You haven't? Oh, that's right. I bought a huge stash of them. Uh, I brought a huge stash of them to Paris after the forgetting. I can go back to Paris and get some peanuts. Oh, that would be amazing. Hope to see you soon. Okay, so Remy's going to go... Uh, okay, so we actually have to go to the Ratatouille realm to find what's missing. You've got almost all the quests done? That's insane. That's so good. That's so cool. Y'all grinding it out. I love it. By the way, guys, I've learned this as well. I don't know if anybody else knew this, but you can literally travel to any realm by just clicking on the castle. Hello. And you just choose what realm you want to go to. And, oh, it looks like you can do that, too, here with the, oh, the biomes. Yeah, so I, uh, so if you wanted to basically go to the Ratatouille realm, apparently you can fast travel here, eat all of your meals inside the Ratatouille realm, get your, um, you can cook the meals without using coal and all that stuff, so it's perfect. Eat up, get your, your energy bar all the way up with the yellow light as well, and then you can, travel out and it puts you right back where you were at in the valley it's insane so let's go to the ratatouille well it's so cool 
It's so cool. Here we are. Look, I left an omelet on the floor for me to, I like I like to cook meals and then I leave them on the floor and I'll just come back and get them when I, when I need them. So like right now, because again, you can't leave the realm with the food that you cook, but you can eat it in here. So now my stamina is all the way up. So good. Yes, I love this realm too. It's one of my favorites so far. My game sometimes glitches when I go into buildings. When I come back outside, my uh, partner disappears. They don't even show up on my map. Yeah, that's that's a weird one. You know what happens to me, um, especially with like Ursula's house? If I go in Ursula's house and then come back out, for some reason, I, um, I like glitch out at the door where my game seems frozen. I have to like use my Windows button on my computer to try to bring the screen down and bring it back up. And for some reason, it unglitches. My floor is for <laughs> covered in food. I forgot about that. <laughs> You bought the Star Path uh, premium ones yet? I've got some Star Path stuff. So I bought like the, you can see some of the items that I've collected. Ooh, let me get that. Let me get that. So yeah, I have all of this different stuff. I'm gonna get that. <gasps> we could be matching with Squirrel. My whole forgotten land is covered in pumpkin. <laughs> okay, so we've got to get our matching outfit with our Incredi Squirrel. We should we should just match this entire time. As much as I love my fairy wings, <laughs> we gonna have to get that Space Ranger suit display. So we've got some motifs so we can put on clothes. That's nice. Oh, wait a minute now. That's so cool. I, I it's been a minute since I went back in here. I'm not even gonna lie. Hey TT V, what's going on? Welcome into the stream. How are you today? Oh yeah, that's a weird one too. I wonder if there's an issue with some of the buildings on their loadout. Yeah, I think it might be, honestly. My pass is done um on day one thanks to the ultimate edition. Yeah, that's nice. I definitely got the like the most basic $30 version. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Um, yeah, Up was one of my, um, I believe it was called Up. It's one of my favorite Disney movies and I literally cry like a baby at the very beginning every single time. Adventure is out there, balloon basket. Gotta have the balloon basket, people. Just gots to have it. So we got some new things. We got to change our outfit and get our Incredible Squirrel behind us today. That's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, so here are the peanuts. Ooh, not a big old bag of peanuts. Okay, bring Remy the bag of peanuts. So literally, if we exit, we should exit out to the exact spot that we were at in the valley, which is just like, look at that. Oh my God, it's so perfect. I love it so much. All right, Remy, where you at? Where you at, Remy, where you at? Uh-oh. Did that just happen? Because Remy was following me before I went into the realm. Hmm, is he still in the realm, Melby? Maybe? Bring Remy the bag of peanuts. Remy, where art thou? <laughs> okay, so when you get the last re reward, you can actually rebate 100 premium currency to buy the 100 star path currency. And then using that 10 times on the last reward. Whoa. I had no idea. Hello. My favorite Disney is Wally. Yeah, he's he's absolutely my favorite. Oh, there you are. Ariel, welcome in. So did I, but also oh, did I, but I found out the ultimate founders edition spirit jersey in a chest. Ooh, that's lucky. Salami oh, feet. <laughs> okay, so you found the peanuts. It's time for you to take to make one of my favorite dishes using the peanuts you brought back. What's that? well as a team we work well as a team okay so go in your inventory use the recipe all right so what do we have we've got peanut butter sandwich is there more than that it says one of the recipes for some reason I have an itching to make the pickled herring <laughs> 
The recipes are part of my favorite. I just love how they look when you cook them. Omelette. Okay, I think it's just a peanut butter sandwich. Cool. This should be easy. We need peanut butter. <laughs> it's peanuts and wheat. Okay, we've got that. Okay, it's Eve, but yes, it would be adorable seeing her around. Yeah, it would be. It would be. Stitch is going to Stitch. I would just like imagine if you can get Stitch to follow you around too as a little a little buddy. Oh my gosh. Think I'm alone. I'm loving Elsa as a buddy. She's so aloof. <laughs> Always doing her own thing. Elsa's beautiful though. Okay, so let's do wheat. Wait, where the peanut where the peanuts at? <laughs> Baby. Huh? Hello. Do we need to go back and collect more peanuts? Huh. Oh, should be waffles as well. Let me check. Meals, meals, meals. It would be cool to kind of like search for stuff too. Waffles, waffles. Yeah, so peanut butter. We need peanuts. I think we're going to go have to go back to his room to get some more peanuts. I don't know why, but... Mmm, look at the desserts. Candied apples. Yum. Okay, chocolate waffles. Carrot cake, cherry pie. Jam waffles. Oh, there it is. Yeah, peanut butter waffles. Oh, buy them behind you. Thank you. There they are. 200, two, 200 gold coins for peanuts. Oh, my Lord. What is going on in here? This is insane. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's always genuinely surprised you actually decide to talk, uh, talk to her and hang out. <laughs> Surprised there's no flour in the game. Yeah, they just have wheat. You would think that they'd have um, flour as well. All right, let's go ahead and try to make these waffles. So my new favorite thing to do is check your girl out. Let's make a peanut butter sandwich. And then just hit autofill. Butimus. Michelle, welcome in. Mm, I do love a peanut butter sandwich. Does anybody else like peanut butter sandwiches? Imagine Mushu in the game. Oh my gosh. There's so many people they can add to this game that would just be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. Let's also try to make um, the peanut butter waffles. Now, I wonder what we would need to make a peanut butter waffle. We could just make a peanut butter sandwich again and not try to be fancy. Francais. Hmm. Let's just make the peanut butter sandwich again. There we go. Cook it. Alice in the Mad Hatter? Oh, yes. I just reached level 40 and the majority of my characters are level 10, but I have a glitch that their level up items aren't showing in my inventory. No! I'm sorry, Danny. That's not right. That sucks. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we have another peanut butter sandwich. I think we're finished. Might just cry if they add Rapunzel. <laughs> Real tears. Over here. Oh, thank you so much for hey, calling out. You. Toast and peanut butter sandwich are top tier, especially in my lazy cooking days. Lilo, yes. I will literally just get a, a nice, fresh, soft piece of bread, slather with peanut butter, fold it in half, and eat it. Yeah, one of the things I said in my video earlier that I posted was that I wish that cooking was a skill that we could do together. Like, I don't know why we can't assign cooking as a role. Like, Remy would be perfect to have as a cooking buddy, so anytime you cook, they can help you. It improves your relationship, and maybe you get, like, an extra dish or something out of it. Just the same thing when you're, like, gardening or anything else. Hmm, 
Now that's a terrific peanut mm -hmm. sauce. I have to make that this week's special in the mm -hmm. restaurant. Thanks for all your help, Doc. Can I talk to you? Yeah, some of these quests get bugged out. It, it's uh, I've had I had one uh, bug out with Scrooge actually. Not you needing something else. What's going oh, on, you. Remy? The Glade of Trust just screams Princess and the Frog. Oh, I can I can only imagine. Uh -huh. All right, Shez Remy is a hit. We have more customers than I can handle myself. That's amazing. Can I help you? <laughs> yes, please. I really need it. Here, take this chef's uniform. Put it on and meet me in the kitchen. Oh, no. Hope to see you soon. Look, I will run around in that chef's outfit. Don't get it twisted. But we're not going to do that right now. We have to help. Um, we have to help Wally. <gasps> you know what? You could hear the rain inside. I was just thinking it sounds like it's raining. Oh, man. Okay, so first things first. We need to change our wardrobe. We need to put on our new Incredible Woman uniform. Incredible suit. Ooh, stop playing with your girl. <laughs> stop playing with me, baby. Should we put on our little hat? Why not? Can we put on other shoes? Oh, no, you can't. Okay. Should have known. Should have known. All right, so let's go to back. Should we put on a different backpack? Leave the wings? Can always do a red backpack. Let's just take the backpack off for right now. Why not? Is cooking souffles the best way to make money? Hey, NZ, welcome back. And um, cooking souffles is like, I don't know. I think they actually nerfed it. Like, I think they were worth more money and they're not worth as much money now. And it costs a lot for the ingredients for souffle. So I really don't think it's worth the time, if I'm being honest, in my personal opinion. The time it takes to cook it, the coal you have to use to cook it, and then on top of that, you don't get a huge return on investment after you factor in how much it costs to buy the eggs, milk, cheese, I don't think it's worth it. So I've just been making money and saving Dreamlight. That's the way to go. Yeah, exactly what Munchie said, NZ. We were trying to test that out in the last stream, and it just seems like it's like it's a lot. Yeah, you've just been growing pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins is a great way to go. We could put on like something like a little red, a little something. I don't know. Let's just have the hair out, keep it simple, why not? And then let's add in our Creddy Squirrel. Ooh, we are matching now, y'all. Stop playing with your girl. I'm a superhero, literally. Esta, I think that gardening is gonna be your best friend when it comes to making money. So um, in our personal experience, um, it's carrots, canola, pumpkins, Really, any gardening will make you money, but I know that carrots is a, a really quick and easy way to make a lot of money. Canola is going to have a huge return on investment, but they are a little bit more time intensive because you have to water them a couple of times before they're ready. And I haven't gotten to pumpkins yet, but everybody says pumpkin, pumpkins is the way to go. Yes, to, to farming, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely what Ariel said. Start with the carrots and then go to canola and then um, pumpkins. Oh, you're at five million, girl. Not you, rich. <laughs> Very rich. We love to see that. Hi, Pop. Welcome in. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. I appreciate that and I appreciate your support. Wait, Dot is an incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've been we've we've turned into an actual superhero at this point. Me and my Incredible Squirrel are out here doing big things. I have a plot of two hundred and bring in two hundred and eighty k. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited for this game and all the possibilities. I know it's like it's in it's never ending opportunity, right? 
I'm not even halfway through the game. Like, <laughs> I still have a long way to go. All right, so, okay, I've been running around for a second mindlessly. So sorry about that, guys. So let's go in here and let's actually, I think we have a level 10 relationship with Scrooge, so we need, may need to focus on, um, ugh, I hate to say it, but Kristoff. Yeah, he's only level six. What, what level is Scrooge? Let me see. Okay, he's level 10. Okay, so let's find Kristoff on the map. There he is. Let's go get him. Although I really don't want to, but let's just, let's go get him. We need to mine up to get some more iron. I wonder where they harvest their eyes. Did he just say, I wonder where they harvest their eyes? I don't think so. Let's hang out. <laughs> so All right, so we need to actually travel on up to the Forest of Valor. Wonderful. T.S., you have a plot of a thousand pumpkin seeds. Oh, that's work right there. That is hard work. How do you get dark wood? Um, I've only found hardwood so far, so I may not be far enough yet, Marissa. Welcome in. Welcome back. Okay, Forgotten Lands. Let me see. Do I have Forgotten Lands yet? Yeah, I don't think I'm there yet. Nope, 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 nope. All right, so we need to go ahead and mine up some more iron because we need to help finishing up those tinkering parts for Wally. Wally. All right, let's break some of this stuff down. You guys are amazing. I love that you're all helping. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I am so glad that I have the running boost right now. Did I get it all? I think so. By the way, I think there's a glitch with that. I don't know if they fixed it yet or not, but um, apparently the timer is off or something where it's like you just can't get to everything fast enough. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Yeah, I, I switched some things around in the uh, in the Forest of Valor. So um, I have the, I moved Goofy stand here so that when I plant, it's easy to just come here and sell everything. And because I spend majority of my time over here, I moved the um, the well over here as well. Pretty happy with that decision, to be honest. Those timer things run out way too fast. I know. I'm like, hello? <laughs> Do I look like a speedster? I can't get around that fast. Been on the game day after day. <laughs> Release could have been sooner, but it was a holiday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely just it, like the music is still speeding up and there's like nothing left. So I'm like, um, okay, I guess. I guess. Does anybody know where Kyle can buy cotton? I'm not far than I'm not far enough, Kyle. <laughs> Sorry, I wish I could help. Yeah, I actually do move my well over the block bridge often. <laughs> when I need to get over there, I don't try to I don't try to abuse it too much, which is not really abusing it. They allow you to do it in the game, but I I just put it over there and I move it back to get more iron if I need it. That's what I've done so far anyway. It's a nice little hack for sure. Life hack 101. Yep. Hey Zeus, welcome in. How are you tonight? Okay, yeah, you know, Elastic K, that's me tonight, baby. <laughs> Tell them folks not to mess with me now. All right, let me see how much iron I got. Seven. Okay, we might be in a good place. Let's go see. I hate that map glitch, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, bo it bothers me. <laughs> Plateau. <laughs> Munchie, you're funny. <laughs> That's me. I'm like, how do you spell that? How do you say that? Okay, crafting station, crafting station. All right, so we need iron agate. Oh, wow, we can only make one. Uh, look, not me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, 
it's the struggle bus for me. Oh, it does. Does the crafting not the crafting station not pulling in the stuff that's in my inventory? Oh no, it's just because I don't, I didn't have enough. Duh, hello. All right, so we're actually gonna have to use the well trick. Actually, you can't wait for multiplayer. I know, right? How crazy is that going to be? Oh, I'm so sorry, Anna. We are we are working on something for Wally, but we will be with you as soon as possible. I need a customer service representative out here, okay? These people are busy bees. What's you guys' favorite um, favorite weather condition? Like, do you like the um, rain or the sunshine better? Lynn, hello, welcome in. How are you? Everybody say, what's going on, Lynn? Welcome, welcome. Hi, Lucas. Welcome back. Hey, did you try mother load? <laughs> I wish that worked. I really do. The rain makes your switch lag. Uh, I hope they fix the lagging issues. I really do. I do enjoy the rain, though. Everybody's saying rain. <laughs> And I love early morning. I actually haven't got on yet early morning, so I gotta I gotta see what that's like. All right, let me see. There's some. Uh uh, Kristoff, -uh, don't do all that um, humming in my ear. All right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, Builds, welcome back. Welcome back. Things get glitchy for you, too, when it's storming. Oh, man. Kristoff, if you don't get over there next, I was about to say, and you expanded on a jewel, it's like he don't even know what we're doing out here right now. <laughs> this this man, Kristoff, I just... Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there's another one over here somewhere. Not me forgetting. I wish the lighting wasn't as intense. Is it really intense? It's a little dark for me right now, I feel like. Sometimes it can be hard to see in the forest. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the game. What well, we could be talking about in real life, too. What do you guys prefer in real life? Rain as well? I gotta remember to feed my little buddies. Where the, where's the raccoon that's always on this side of the fence? Yeah, early morning is beautiful. You can see the sun and the moon. <gasps> no way. I'm going to have to wake up like at 6 a.m. and get on the game just because I have to see that. Want to see the snow so bad? Me too, Wells. I cannot wait. I can't wait. It'd be cool if it actually snowed, though, like in the other biomes. But maybe that wouldn't make sense, huh? Rain. Two days left, you got two weeks off. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing right there, my friend. Why do I feel like uh, I missed the other... Where is it at? Hmm. I know there was another one, on, another one on this side. I got that one there. Everybody loves rainy weather. Me too. I actually, I do really enjoy the sun. I think y'all know that about me. But I do, like, when it's been sunny for too long, I'm like, can we get some rain? I just need me a calm, chill, rainy day so I can just relax. Here, I'm going to use my mouse to do this. It's so much easier on the mouse. And we're going to place this right back over here. Beautiful. Rainy weather is definitely super relaxing. Super relaxing. Hey, Marissa! So question, when a holiday happens in real life, will it also be in the game? Ooh, that is actually a really great question. I do wonder the same. Good question, Deanna. I don't know. Does anybody know? Um, 
So it looks like in order to plant onions, because I'd like to know what how onions are. So let's plant some onions. Let's upgrade his stall. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Somebody commented and said onions were were better to plant than I think they said canola. I'm like, mm? I haven't heard that one yet, my friend, but I will test it. One on one side of her cave, two on the other side of her cave. Oh, I, I jumped back to the other side too soon. Oh, surgery I'm having next week, so I'm in bed ready. Oh, you're getting your gallbladder removed. Oh, man. I pray everything goes well with your surgery. That's a big one. 25 minutes for cotton. Okay, better than canola. Oh, carrots are so fast, Esther, especially if you grow the carrots in, um, in the meadows. Make sure you plant them in the meadows because they get a boost there in speed. Hey, Steph, welcome in. I love the rain because you can plant seeds and you don't have to go back in. Yes, I know. That's a, I literally just missed it. I should have been planting during the rain. But the rain makes it so easy because the watering takes forever. All right, so, ooh, I guess. Let's go ahead and improve the stall. Would you look at that? What a selection of items to purchase. They haven't mentioned anything about the holidays? Okay. Onions do sell for more. But onions also take longer to grow. Oh. Now let me ask you this. How many times do you have to water the onions? Because that's the thing that gets me. Like when those when those plants dry out, I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> Got to get back over here and water these plants. Okay, so they're, oh, the onion seeds are expensive. What an investment. Let's just see. 99 onion seeds. Let's see how, how much we get. Cost me almost 5,000 gold coins. Let's see what our return on investment is here. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Okay, yeah, instead of fall, we're having pumpkin. Pumpkin spice summer. <laughs> it's so hot. How hot is it? Planning to add another 1,000 pumpkin seeds in the Forest of Valor. Dang. Oh, you're going to be making some real money then. Real money. It's really cool here and already uh, for the first day of fall. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we had like, it was like 77 degrees here today. So it was actually really nice. It was sunny and 77. So it was a little warm, but it felt really good outside, to be honest. But you know what? Like, I love winter, but then like right. a month into winter, I'm like, oof. And it's 30 degrees, 20 degrees. I'm like, ooh, you know what? This isn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. I love dressing for winter, though. I do like, like, winter fashion. You know, because, like, I'm, like, a cozy person. Like, I love to be in a hoodie, a sweater, fuzzy leggings, something soft, anything thick and warm. That's my vibe right there. And the summertime is just swimsuits. <laughs> swimsuits all day. <laughs> the other day, I organized all my supplies. It took an hour, but it's nice to finally have some order. Yes. When I tell you I feel you on that, yeah, I spent some time after the, uh, or this was actually yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I took some time to organize my storage, and it was, it was so nice to get that all worked out. My cozy comfort sweaters, yes, please, yes. A nice thick sweater. I don't know if I shared this with you guys, but I recently, because I'm like, I say I'm a new mom, but it's been a year now, but I literally like none of my clothes fit anymore. So I had to do like a full, I wouldn't call it a mommy makeover, but, um, I went and bought some new clothes and stuff to get a new base going. So now that I have like basics, jeans and tops and stuff, I really need to, um, I really need to, uh, get my fall weather wear back up. So I need to go shopping for like sweaters, jackets, cardigans some new shoes like I don't have I have some like I have like one pair of boots I can wear but I need like some good winter wear fall is my favorite fashion yes Suze, I love it I love it because you can layer like there's so much to do with your fall fashion versus you know summer it's like what I need the least amount of clothes on so <laughs> I'm not dripping in sweat when I leave the house <laughs> I'm a boots and leggings girl yes yes ma'am I like it to be warm enough for shorts and a tank, but not too warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. That's my favorite weather right there. It's like the in between, like I'm not stepping outside and drenched in sweat, but you know, I can wear something cute, get a nice little breeze, stay kind of relatively cool, but it's also warm. 
Oops, I planted canola, but it's fine, actually. We'll plant the rest of this canola up. Also, buy chests from the shops. They are one gold each. Just make sure you have one in your storage. Wait, like the chests that you can craft? Is the meadow where the stall is? Yes, the meadow is, the, yeah, that's right where the stall is. Uh, do you want to rain again? You could rain like right now. It'd be wonderful if you just want to rain down on me. Because <laughs> this is this is going to take a minute. Somebody said if you stand in the middle of the four plants, you can get eight. That's only six. Or at the edge of four, you can get eight. Yeah, I can only get six at a time. I live in an igloo all summer. House AC is always cranked. <laughs> okay, what's your ideal temperature? You're gonna you're gonna think I'm crazy when I say this, but like anything below, anything below like seventy four in my house, and I am an ice cube. I just can't take it. I'll be walking around in a hoodie and a sweater underneath the hoodie and then a shirt underneath the hoodie. Thick socks. <laughs> Wait, did something happen? What happened, Deanna? Always socks, gotta have socks. 65 degrees is great for me. That's what I hear. Everybody I talk to is like, yeah, 65 degrees, that's 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 where I want to be at. That's where I want to be at. Hey, lady. Welcome in. How are you? So happy to see you. Your apartment says 60 all year round. Even in the wintertime, 60? I would, I honestly, like literally, somebody would come in my house and I'd be a blue ice cube frozen on the couch of my house in full on winter wear. <laughs> Still frozen. <laughs> yeah, 60 is too cold for me. I got it. It's got to be in the 70s at least. It's funny growing up, like my mom was like, she always wanted to keep it like 60 in the house. And I would always complain like, it is so cold. Like I am freezing. And she'd be like, put more clothes on. <laughs> And I'd walk over to her, I'd literally be in a hoodie, thick socks, the thickest pair, the thickest, warmest pair of pants, sweatpants, like literally layered up. And she'd be like, put more clothes on. I said, oh my, I'm going to freeze in here. That's because I'm from down south. <laughs> I know. Uh, people come inside and I hand them a blanket. Like, yeah, let me go ahead and just give this to you now. Let me just go ahead and give this to you now. Mm -mm -mm. When I was pregnant, though, that AC had to stay, that fan had to stay on. <laughs> I was hot, blazing. You hear me? I love the cold. It's getting chilly now. I need the AC on still. I have to go to bed cold. Yeah, that's one thing I can say. I cannot, if it's hot and I'm trying to go to sleep, it's just not happening. That's why I was always confused in school. Like, why do y'all keep school classrooms cold? If you want people to stay awake and pay attention, make it warm in here. <laughs> You'll, it'll be like 30 degrees in the classroom, and I'm frozen to death and trying to cuddle up to stay warm, and I fall asleep. I can't stay awake in these conditions. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It could be 40 next week and then negative 40 in two months. Negative 40, oh my, oh my. I get stuffy when it's too warm inside. Yeah, no, literally. I could get, I get that. I get stuffy too. That's why I gotta have it just right. Uh oh. We're playing we're playing um stop and go. What is it? Red light, green light. Here we go, here we go. This may be my third time feeding this the white one. I'm so excited. I love the white one too. Red light, green light is so much fun. 
Okay, what do I have for you? Some blueberries, my friend. Here you are. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Ale Olivia. Hi, how are you? Welcome in. Thank you for joining us today. Pregnancy heat is no joke at all. Not, it's not a game. Frozen and asleep. <laughs> Can't focus because I'm shivering. <laughs> Right, how I'm supposed to learn what you want me to learn in class and I'm I'm frozen to death over here. Stop it. <laughs> no, a warm classroom is worse because I'll get mad at everyone talking and all the hot air. Oh yeah, hot breath in the classroom too. Oh no, 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 no. All right, let's see what we have now. I want out of this state. <laughs> oh, munchie. Munchie said, get me out of here. Ooh, is that an onion? Oh, no, it's a potato. I'm a potato. Oh, is that how you get raccoons? I had no idea how to approach. Yes, Munchie taught me. So basically, you do red light, green light. You have to, it's like a little game they play. So when you run up to them, you have to wait. When they turn around and look at you, they'll start doing this thing where they stand up and sit down, stand up and sit down. And when they're sitting down, you can move a little bit. But if you move while they're standing up, they'll run away again. So you just get closer and closer, and then you can finally feed them. And then I think you have to feed them three times, and after the third time, you can actually unlock them as a companion. Yeah, Michelle, they do. They take a minute. Because I, I, th I thought it was two times. Oh, look, it's Moana. I thought it was two times that we had to feed them, but it's actually three, I believe. All right, so let's go ahead and craft up some more tinkering parts. Poor Wally is like, can y'all please? <laughs> oh my, this is a slow, slow process. Okay, there's got to be some place else that we can get iron. Let me go to the collections menu. Foraging. Okay, so we can, ooh, we can also get iron in the glades of trust. So let's go ahead over there. It's good, it's just, oh wait. Your character is cute by the way, thank you so much. We're in Credit Girl, we're, we're stretching it out today. All right, let's see if we can find some iron in this joint. What's going on in here, baby? It's a little dark. No problem, Kyle, no problem, no problem. Yeah, it's over 100 outside in Cali, oh no. No. I, there's no reason for me to leave the house then. <laughs> I got to stay inside. I'm not about to cook. Yeah, 100 degrees, that's my limit. I am not coming out. Sorry, that's too hot for me. <laughs> okay, let's see what it says. I swear there was a house somewhere near here. Who did it belong to? They were one of my friends. How could I? And it cuts off. Oh, no. How could you what? Oh, there's one. Come on, Kristoff. Let's see if we can get some iron. Oh, nice. Kristoff, expand on something. Anything. Anything, please, sir. Okay, no, nothing? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for your contribution, Kristoff. You are just, you really are wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My school had trailers for some of our classes and everyone was hot and angry during that hour. Hot breath and heat. <laughs> yeah, and nobody's speaking up. Nobody's going to talk in class. Y'all not about to accentuate my breath. <laughs> How could you forget your friends, right? <laughs> Ooh, does anybody know what the hummingbirds would like to eat? It is a good question. That's one I'm going to need to know as well, eventually. Oh, there's another one. Wonderful. Kristoff, anything? Oh, finally. Thank you so much. Hey, Scrooge. What's going on, player? What are you doing over here? Doesn't really seem like your type of scene, sir. <laughs> But okay. Ah, it's a crocodile. I can't wait to get the crocodiles too. Oh, that makes so much sense. A hummingbird. Yeah, so flowers.
Yeah, I haven't got to where the hummingbirds are either, so. We're going together. Okay, so um, we are also told that the crocodiles actually like to play red light, green light as well. So that's good. It's some, it's something dark happening right here. What is going on? This must be some, this is somebody's house. We do have a quest that we're gonna have to follow for this one. So, all right. So that's all we can get out of here for right now. Let's travel back over to the Forest of Valor yet again. See if we can get any more iron. Someone is having a fiesta outside or downstairs. I hear bumping music. Wait, is this at my house? Or is this at your house? Because <laughs> I would not put it past. There may be somebody. I have to take. I'm pushing my headphones back so I can hear. My neighbors like to party. Okay. So you unlock hummingbirds when you get to a certain biome. But I don't know which one, to be honest. But each biome has its own special um, critter. You make me type that place again. <laughs> yeah, we just say sunlit. Good old sunlit. Oh no, okay, it's at your house. Okay, somebody having a party. A party. Yay! Happy for you, Kyle. All right, Kristoff. There's some iron right there on the ground. Whew, thank you for once. He's doing something, y'all. He's doing something, finally. Finally. You know, one thing I do love about the Forest of Valor is, like, when you're in here, you can hear, like, the creaking of the trees. It's a little creepy, but at the same time, kind of relaxing. I'm not going to lie. Just call it the freaking Pride Lands like it is. <laughs> At the same time, it also does sound like a skeleton is standing behind me, so now I kind of don't know whether I love it or hate it. <laughs> oh, some hardwood. I'll take that. Yes! Yes! Okay, give me the 1K. All right, all right. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, we don't care about push pushing Kristoff. I'm not going to lie to y'all. <gasps> Look, it's the red raccoon. Come here, little buddy. Okay, we got to get it just right. Don't run back there. Okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. He's got to turn around and see us. All right, we're locked in. We're locked in, people. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Uh, go. Stop. We're almost there. We're almost there. Go. There we go. Hey, all right, so heard you like some blueberries. There you are. All right, so we fed two of the raccoons. I'm happy with that. I am. All right, let's go back over here and see if we can get... Wally, what are you doing? Just exploring, my little buddy? Ah, so happy to see you, as always. All right, so we've got a decent amount of iron, but I don't know. I still don't know if it's going to be enough. Level 25. Hey. Ooh, that's going to look cute in the house. A celestial pillar. Kristoff, come over here. Get in there. Go over there and do something. Go over there and do something. See, even Wally's putting in more work than you. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't really like Kristoff, y'all. All right, anything we can drop off in here. Let's drop off some blueberries. Uh, we'll take the rest of these back. Um, do, 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 do. Anything else that's specific? I don't think so. Just trying to keep our inventory clean. Let's go ahead and eat this fruit here too. Nice, real nice. All right, hey. Me either. He's supposed to be a stable hand, but he does nothing. He literally doesn't, like, I don't even, I don't understand. Like, why, why are you here? 
Once I get that man a level 10, he ain't never going to see me again. One time I was on the beach and I was trying to feed one of the turtles and I uh, did not have any fruit or anything. So I felt, <laughs> I fed it a rock and it ate it. Did that work? They really will eat anything, won't they? <laughs> Yeah, see, he just doesn't expand on anything. Like, I just... Ugh. Oh, I was going to tell you, you can lock up any skill friend. It's really fun to do with the miners' gems everywhere when you free them. Ooh. Now, is there, a, is there, like, a space difference? Like, do they actually have to be close to you? Or can you, like, just go around, lock them up somewhere, and then go around anywhere? And then once you let them out, they'll throw stuff everywhere. Because I've done it with gardening, but I haven't tried it with, like, anything else, like mining. Just a bunch of rocks. Go ahead, Kristoff. Expand on a rock. I bet you would do that. All right, we're grinding it out for Wally, guys. We got to get... He needs a lot of tinkering parts, and they require a lot of iron. Kristoff? Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. Is that what we're doing? I will hit you with this thick ass. He working my nerves, y'all. <laughs> he working on my nerves, okay? He's not safe. He's not safe over here. Somebody better come get him. As long as you don't enter a shop, house, or teleport, you can go all over the map. Ooh. We may have to do that with Kristoff, okay? Because... Child. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that man is doing nothing for me right now. So remember I told you guys on the last stream that my husband, I was, I told him about um, Scrooge always saying, oh no, not me money bins. <laughs> now all my husband says all day is, oh no, not me money bins. I'm like, S just shut up. Stop it. Why? You're going to ruin it. <laughs> Okay, we'll put some cocoa over there. Cocoa, uh, da, 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 da. Let's put these mushrooms in here. I'm saving up all the mushrooms, as I was told. And then you don't have to wait for them to double up on the thing I was doing it today. Made mining a lot less annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do that with Kristoff in a second, because he is just working my nerves. Your husband's a great guy. <laughs> He's he's okay, Barzy, okay? I'm just joking. He is a great guy. He's funny. And Beckham thinks it's hilarious. Uh-oh. Coins, 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 coins. If we get them all, we can get a chest. Uh, I think we got them. There it is. Yes. Good night, Diabolical. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining us today. Reminds me of the Newsacre couple that does their news voice at home and <laughs> tries to annoy each other. Yeah. That's us. That's pretty much what we do majority of the day. I will not fail Wally. Oh, there's actually a stone. There's actually one all the way over here. I don't know if I got it yet. Bro, it's a must to have a gardening buddy with you when you're picking crops. Just picked 100 carrots. Yep. Yep, that's why it's so, so important. Like, I sometimes I forget, and I'll start. I'll literally stop, like, midway, and then go back and get my, my buddy. Oh, you expanded on coal. Thank you so much, Kristoff. You are just, oh, I can't tell you, just so great. Just so great. <laughs> ay, 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 yay, this man. Um. Uh, Okay, yeah, so we got to go back to the Forest of Vala. It looks like we need to probably water up our onions, too. Ah, uh, they're not there yet. Oh, there's one that's just struggling here in the corner. Bless it. <laughs> you heard they had a baby? Oh, congratulations to them. Now they can annoy the baby. <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's go back here. Hopefully we can get this quest done for Wally tonight. That's why it's like important to log in every day and just go around harvesting everything there is. So that even if you don't need it, you can store some of it away and then you'll have it for one of the quests when you need it. Super duper important. Oh yes, very nice. Something, anything, and it better not be a rock, Kristoff. Iron, thank you. Thank goodness, my good sir. That baby's gonna be a taller with a news anchor voice. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, oh man, I know it. It's funny because in this game, like, there will be things like, let's just take the garlic, for example. Like, you might run past the garlic because you don't really need to harvest it at that moment. And then Remy will need have a quest for you. It's like, I need 100 garlic. Thanks. It's like, oh, my gosh. 100? Really? Okay, we have some little things to sell. Let's sell these up real quick. How's it going? We gotta sell some stuff, Goofy. I have so much coal. I, th I don't think I'm doing enough cooking because I literally have so much coal. I'm gonna save the potato. We can sell the corn. Uh, sell the canola. A. All right, shiny aqua. Let's sell these aquamarines. We'll keep the emeralds because we need those for a quest as well. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. It goes from needing three or ten to like 300 stone. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Like, how did we get here? Oh, good night. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a wonderful night. Get some good sleep. Hope to catch you on another one. Barzy, is that emoji waving? Or is it like the peace sign? I can't tell for some reason. All right, let it... What was I coming over here to do? Oh, tinkering parts. I always run to the stove first. I think it's just because I'm low-key hungry. <laughs> oh, look, we can make tinkering parts. Okay, we can make three. <gasps> I think we've done it. No. <sighs> Gosh, we still need 12 more. Okay, so let's see if we can multitask to while we're at it. We also need to be collecting worms. Okay, and we need the worms so that Maui can turn the worms into coconut trees. <laughs> it's so random, but that's what he says he needs. So let's just see if we can find any more worms. Oh, there's some. Nice. I don't know why I wasn't multitasking from the beginning. Pick up all of this wood. I should bring a foraging buddy along. I think foraging is like the one thing that I, I don't do enough with my buddy. All right, we can get some more iron from right here. Kristoff would have to give me some space. No, he really needs to back up off me though. Like for real, for real. He's not even doing anything. Like he's just there. Look at him. All that iron on the ground. He was like, mm, I think I won't. I, I don't think I will give you anything extra. But thanks for bringing me along. Look, we're going to stop hanging out with him. He's going to be like, oh, it was great hanging out with you. Was it? You didn't seem to enjoy yourself at all. <laughs> Wally, are you stuck? Oh, my gosh. I was worried Wally was stuck. I almost had a conniption. Oh, boy. I almost had a conniption, y'all. So, yeah, we're going to do a couple of these side quests, and then we're going to focus on the main quests. That way we can progress in the storyline a little bit. <laughs> level 10 mining is amazing. It's so worth dragging me around to level it up. Is it? Yeah, I mean, because you, so, you get so many more um, materials or resources from it. Yeah, literally, I don't want to bring Maui along to do anything. That's why I think I made him foraging because literally I couldn't imagine doing anything else with Maui behind me. He's so incredibly big. He's just huge. 
I'm trying to move all my stuff around, but I can't handle a bunch at a time. I've never been a decorate per, uh, person in games. Yeah, you know, it's that one's tough. I'm not going to lie. That one, decorating for me, like, sometimes I'm, like, really good at it, and other times I'm like, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> but ADHD. That's probably why I struggle with it as well. But I'm sure it's going to be so cute, Bunchy. Do little by little, you know? Because it can be, it can definitely get overwhelming for sure. And he's the one character that can't seem to push out of the way. Yeah, that's because he's so, they, look, they're like, you can't push this character like that, okay? He's that big. Oh, the rabbits want to be fed. Hi, look, it's Oreo. Hi, Oreo. You want to play? Uh, you don't want to play anymore? Oh, okay. You're ready to be fed? Cool. Now, do you have to dig in the holes, or can you actually dig in the ground and find worms? I don't remember. Let's just give you... I don't think I have a carrot. Oh, yes, I do. There's a carrot. I've noticed that they usually dupe the last thing uh, that comes out. And at level 10, it's almost every time. Oh, see, I really should be bringing Scrooge along for this because at this point. <laughs> Maui's level 10 friendship item is the gold, though. Ooh. All right, let's see if there's any more areas to dig up. Find us some more worms. I don't see any. At Le Moment. Worms are specifically in sparkle holes by the ponds. Ah, okay, good to know. Good to know. No wonder, that's why they're... Um, I think that's where I found all of them, actually, yeah. Look at Scrooge. He just looking for something he can get somebody to spend some money on. Remember, I see. Time is money. Mm-hmm, Scrooge. Mm-hmm. Time is money. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back to the Forest of Valor again. It looks like we have some stuff to water, too. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Ugh, Kristoff. How does Anna put up with him? Anna, sorry. How does she put up with him, huh? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, speaking of, hi. Do you need to talk to Kristoff? Can you tell him maybe to help us expand on more iron, please? Valley members have to contribute too, you know. <laughs> oh, shocker. Nothing, huh? He's only level seven. <laughs> She was locked in that tower, I'm guessing. Any good guy starting to look good. <laughs> he was just the first one around. Kristoff <laughs> radiates pillar queen energy. Legit though, like, what is going on? Any, any, any time, any day now, Kristoff. Literally any time, any day. It's too much for me. Okay, this rock was really giving. Nothing there. Okay, how much? Let's see. Oops, wrong thing. We've got 11 iron. Okay, let's go back to our crafting table, see what we can do with this. See if we can whip something up real quick. Uh huh. I ain't never heard Wally say, huh? You obviously, and what did he say? I cannot tell what gives you motion. Are you steam powered or electric? Hey, 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 hey. He's what he is, okay? This is an interesting conversation. You're pointing up. Do you mean the sun? Aha! What a marvelous source of power. I really must learn more about it. Solar panel! I just ignored expanding storage. I just did it for 5k. Honestly, Kyle, it's worth it, but boy, <laughs> it's expensive. 
Yeah, like the last slot that you can expand is like, I think it's 20 or 50K. I'm like, oh, oh, word. But it is a life changer. Yeah, you need all the storage space that you can get. Okay, so we have, how many do we have? Nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh yeah, so we just need three more. Yay, we've done it. We've done it. Okay, so we've got all of the tinkering parts that we need. So now we need to craft the repaired F02937 M3 number seven machine. I have to say it like that every single time. Oh, it's a tape recorder. <laughs> okay, we have everything we need, so let's make it. All right, bring the repaired F02937 M3 number seven machine to Wally. Wally, where'd he go? He's a moving guys, he is moving. I'm coming Wally, I have your things. I'm so excited, let's see what we get now for this quest. Okay, so yes, we want to give these items. The machine is fixed. Whoopee! So we fixed the machine, but I still don't know what it does. Wally, Wally. Ha, you raise your hand like you were in school. You know what it does? He whistles. Whistles means yes. Um, so we have to guess. Is it a machine that makes memories? Is it a machine that breaks things? Is it a machine that finds memories? Let's say is it a machine that finds memories? Whistle? Yes, I see. So this machine is probably the reason that the memory appeared and the memory was broken because the machine was broken. Now that we've repaired it, I wonder if more memories will appear. Oh, nice. We've maxed out our friendship so we can literally not be better friends. <laughs> We're besties already. Okay, Christoph, it was fun, but bye oh, now. Hey. No, you can't help me with anything, actually. <laughs> you have been absolutely no help today. So goodbye. So long, Dot. See you around. I really appreciate it. Actually, the best thing we can do is probably Hello. just improve our relationship by trying to give him stuff. Cocoa beans. We have that. Snowball cheese platter. Guess what? You're going to get cocoa beans because I have Bye. plenty of those. Wally's your guy? Yes, sir. Wally's everybody's neighborhood best friend. And if you got a problem with Wally, literally you have a problem with me. So, <laughs> and you don't want them type problems. Because as you can see, I'm an Incredi girl with an Incredi squirrel. Hmm, it's interesting that only one patch is dried out right now. <laughs> oh wait, it's because that's our canola. Ah, okay, I'm starting to like onions a little bit better already because we literally have not had to water the onions again at all. I got the robot first. He's so cute. Yes, he's my absolute favorite. He is my absolute favorite. Now I need uh, Remy. How again? Okay, so head over to the castle, and then Remy is the chef's door. So uh, he's the door on the far right, on the bottom floor. And you should be able to go in and get him. Okay, so let's take a look at our quest really quickly. We have, what should we do next? Do you guys want to do a storyline quest? We can do the curse or we can actually play some, we could do this pretty quickly, rebuild the forest of valor. We could do that really quickly and then do the curse or we can do an icy invitation, uh, finish up the mysterious wreck. We're going to work on burying the eel at the same time. Um, and then customers knows best. Do the curse okay perfect so let's rebuild the uh forest really quickly and then we will do the curse so here's what we'll do we have lots of stuff so let's go to furniture all is there anything outside that we'd like to place hmm. mm, 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 mm. You know what, I kind of feel like this celestial fireplace would look good in here in this world for some reason. So right now, maybe we can just put it like here. <laughs> It'll count for something. 
It's kind of long. Her whole thing is drawn out a bit. I could imagine. I could only imagine. You know what? We could put a crafting table out here, too. Is there benefit to putting a crafting table out in each biome? Maybe so you don't have to run all the way home to do it. We can put this right here. And do, do, do. You know what? We don't have any like outside benches or something we could sit down. It'd be cool to make like a little uh, picnic area or something. Let's see, what do we have for paths? We have loose leaf. I think that's, is that the path that's right here? Actually, I'm gonna switch to keyboard and mouse really quickly because it is so hard on controller. We can fix some of this path up here. Oh, we only have one? Okay, well, that's not, <laughs> that's not gonna cut it. Um, da, da, da. Maybe we take this away. Like so. Okay. And then we can fill this in here. Yeah, that looks better. I think anyway. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a little bit better. I just put raw chicks furniture and work for some reason. Yeah, it works uh, for the flowing, uh, flowing. Uh, the floor path too, as well works. It's a real easy way to do it. So let's do some of that maybe. Let's do some little rocks. We can put maybe, not me only decorating one area. We'll put like a little rock down here. Forest of Valor rock with mushrooms. I do love to see mushrooms. Let's put one in an area that needs it a little bit, like one right here. Nice. And I moved the well from over here, so maybe we add a little tree or something too. That could be nice. I saw a tips video and the lady said, make a little crafting station with like three or four chests and stuff nearby. Yeah, that's a good idea. I feel like we should maybe have a crafting station in every biome so you don't have to, you know, go all the way to whatever biome you have it in. I do like that. Munchie's like, don't you dare add another tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know we already, we really do have enough trees as it is. Okay, let's see how much more we need. Okay, we're good. So let's travel on back to Scrooge and tell him that we have done the Forest of Valor. And then we can go get started on the main storyline. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? The curse, it sounds creepy. But it should be a good time. Hello, why did I just go into Remy's restaurant? But -na 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 -na. the big ones are just so hard to see through yeah well when you're turning your camera around too it's like the leaves are all in the camera you can't see nothing just blind look at Maui he loves it here he just absolutely loves it here <laughs> okay I kind of just want the 25 I really like this skirt but 25 I think you're Thank tripping you kindly. Okay, so he likes how the Forest of Valor looks. He says, as I always say, a solid investment is sure to reap a solid reward. Okay. So I think we got everything. Should we get this plushies, these plushies on the wall? They're kind of cute, right? We could add them to the house. It could be nice. Greetings, neighbor. Yeah, I think I was going to say it would look good in a bedroom. You can't wait to see my reaction to the quest. Okay, let's go do it. I can get the plushies Bye -bye, later. Now. I am curious now. I am curious. Okay, so now, first things first, we need to talk to Merlin, but don't kill me. Let's go to the realm really quickly and make up some omelets so we can get a little speed boost to run around. Okay, so we will get the plushies, Esther. I'm glad you liked them. I thought they were kind of cute too, you know? Gotta have a, We gotta have our house all dressed up because we're trying to outdo Ratatouille or Remy. Got to outdo Remy, baby. Okay, so we only need like two. 
And then an omelet is, I think, milk. We'll just get some cheese just in case. Ooh, look at that banana split in the background. Oh my, oh my. That looks like a tree, doesn't it? My goodness. My goodness. Okay, autofill and yes. Butimus. Remy's realm is really so nice. Okay. We're good. Now let's eat. Oh, let's open this. What did we get? What did we get? Ooh, is that Monsters Inc? I think that's a Monsters Inc motif. We should really try to make our own outfit and be unique. Um, so let's eat. There we go. Butimus. All right, now let's leave. We're all we're sped up. We are ready. We are ready to take on the day. Look at us. Get out of the way. You see that? That's what happens when you wear superhero attire. Okay, you can you can literally bust anybody out the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need help. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm a potato. I'm gonna add the carrots over there. Okay, basil, yes. Okay, we'll empty that stuff out. I've mentioned this so many times, but we need to sort all button ASAP. Okay, there's Merlin. He's always on the stairs. He literally blocks the entire pathway. Like, can we, can we, get, hello? Can we get through? What, what, what are we doing here? I mean, what is the reason? <laughs> Okay, we should have enough space, so that's perfect. Let's go back out. And let's go talk to Merlin. There he is, okay. We need to be tracking the quest, eh? The curse, oh, the name is just creepy. There you are. <laughs> Why is Donald always so big mad? Yo, Donald is having a conniption well, literally hello. every single day. <laughs> Okay, oh, oh, hello. What, why he say it like that? Why did he say, oh, oh, hello like that? He like my outfit, y'all? <laughs> it is skin tight, Merlin. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> all right, the curse. Blast it all. We have a new problem. There's some sort of dark magic hanging over the great tree in the Glade of Trust. This is different from the other dark magic we, fought, we faced. It's thicker, more power. Oh, trickier. Hello, thicker? What word? It's trickier, far more powerful. <laughs> Ew, not Merlin the playa. <laughs> okay, I suspect one of the villagers was meddling in bewitchments that have no place in this valley, and it went terribly wrong. I feared that not even your vast magic would be enough to lift the spell. But now that the orbs of friendship, power, and courage are back in their rightful places, I know I can trust you with this task. You want me to go to the Glade of Trust and try to lift the dark magic from the tree? Um, I won't let you down. I ain't scared. I am not scared. Okay, Esther, see you in a second. All right, the spirit dot. That's the spirit dot. Now, as soon as you can, head to the Glade and focus your magic on the tree. Off with you now. <laughs> lots to do, lots to do. Um, that seems, uh, simple. I guess. Let's focus our magic on the tree. Me and a credit squirrel can do anything. Anything at all. Come on, Incredit Squirrel. We have much to do, much to do. Saving of the valley, of of course, as usual. That is a very beautiful tree. There's a house up there. I want to go inside. Excited for who you will unlock? Me too. Oh, oh my. Oh my. <gasps> I low-key just got goosebumps. Wait a minute. What? What is happening right now? <laughs> Explore the cabin inside the giant tree. Explore the cabin. The the valley is under siege right now. Oh my goodness. 
Claire, thank you so much for the coffee mm-hmm. fun with the thanks for entertaining. Mm-hmm. Thanks for entertaining me on my long drive home from looking after my sister's kids mm-hmm. when she had to take mm-hmm. Hubs to the ER. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope Hubs is okay. And that's so sweet of you to watch the kids. Thank you so much. You are too kind. Who is this? Who is this? And Claire, please drive safely. I'm so glad you have uh, time to spend with us while you're driving home. Okay, let me see. Miss Ma'am, she... Oh, oh, not you, girl. Hold on. <laughs> Mother Gothel. Oh. She got a little spice to her, y'all. Okay. Finally, someone has managed to open the door to my prison and free me from... <gasps> it's you. It's me. What did I do? She very sassy, y'all. Oh, my gosh. It's the gaslighting queen herself. <laughs> Oh, not the gaslighting queen. I can see it. It's the way she uh, holding her hand right now for me, y'all. Okay, um, have we met before? Mm-hmm. Why, you look just like... No, my mistake. It must be your dreadfully ordinary face. What did she just... What? What did she say? Ordinary face, girl. I got... Have you not seen me? Oh, she a hater. Yeah, she a hater. <laughs> she a hater it's obvious it's the bags underneath the eyes for me miss man but it's fine (laughs) ha i'm just teasing don't take everything so seriously i'm very happy to see you why do i feel like we're having a real life conversation right now um okay the ruler the ruler locked you up in here um there must be a reason you probably deserved it well you're a feisty one aren't you (laughs) we gonna give it back to you girl Oh, fine. I'll admit it. I may have been fiddling with a tiny bit of dark magic. Mm, I can tell by the potions on your wall. Mm -hmm. It was more than a little. I was merely trying to concoct a curse that would keep someone locked away safe and sound. (laughs) Oh, girl. After all, why bother with a secret tower when you can just use magic? Could you imagine holding your hand like that for even a minute? No, literally. Like, I'd be ready for... No, I'd be ready to just break my wrist off. Wait, she starts reading your... <laughs> um, that's very sensible. Huh. Finally. so That was sarcasm, ma'am, but fine. Finally, someone who appreciates my genius. Now, I'll confess, the spell may have gotten a bit out of hand. Some might even say it was threatening to destroy the whole valley. I suppose I don't know my own strength. Ha! <laughs> Girl... Well, that's when our ruler decided to turn the spell back on me and lock me away in here. Well, it sounded like someone, <coughs> me, bested you. Now, as much as I appreciate you freeing me, I'm afraid you've made a dreadful mistake. What do you mean? Uh huh. You see, just as I was trapped in here by my curse, <laughs> the curse was trapped in here with me. Now that you've freed me, you've unleashed my dark magic on the whole village. Ah, tis, tis, what a mess you've made. This is your fault. My fault? You're the one who lifted the curse. But if we can restore the orb of pillar uh, to the pillar of trust, it just might get rid of all the pesky dark magic. <laughs> and aren't you lucky? I happen to know where the orb is hidden. Ooh, not tell me now before I get mad. I helped you, now you help me. It's the sea witch who loved to cut a bargain, my dear. Not me. But since you helped me, I'll help. I'll let you in in a little secret. <laughs> to draw on the dark magic, I need to create my curse. I had to rip the orb of trust out of the pillar. Oh. Come quickly. Let's go to the pillar of trust. Okay, she's spicy, y'all. Mm-mm. Hello, I was afraid I missed your life. No, Debbie, you made it. Just in time. We started a storyline quest uh, called The Curse. Now, wondering if I opened a land out of order. Uh, what quest are you on now? So yeah, this is the storyline qu- uh, quest called The Curse. We're in the Glade of Trust right now. I think that's what it's called, the Glade of, Cru- of Trust. Welcome back, Esta. Karma got her good. She locked up uh, Rapunzel and we locked her up. That's how it is, okay? Karma is a bitch, y'all. <laughs> There's no right or wrong order. I think the beach is uh, forced first. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, her sass is, is very funny. It's going to get her into trouble with me, though, <laughs> okay? Because we got some spice, too. (laughs) Okay, so let's follow her out. Did y'all see how she just ran out of that door? (laughs) 
Okay, lead the way. I kind of like her dress, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'd wear it. I'd wear it. Hello. Do you see that floating island over there? That's where I tossed the Orb of Trust. You can try to get it back, but only if you know how to sprout wings. <laughs> I do have wings. I do have those. The bridge to that island broke long ago. And one more word of warning about the Orb of Trust. You might be able to see it, but you won't be able to touch it. Mm -hmm. I cast a spell to try to hide it, but it worked a bit too well. It's been between, it's between worlds now, like a dream. When you're on the verge of waking. Like a dream when you're on the verge of waking. Okay. Um, what do you suggest? Go ask Merlin. He's always blathering on about his research. He might know something. You're now looking you a bit run down, Dot. Listen to mother. I'm looking a bit run down. I'm looking a bit run down, y'all. Um, Miss Ma'am. Not I'm looking a bit run down. I think not. <laughs> okay, good to know. I had our I had ready somewhere. Wait. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can really do anything out of order. It's really up to you however you want to progress. I do love her sleeves. Yeah, me too. I, I, I enjoy that dress. I'm not going to lie. It is a cute one. Her and Ursula are besties confirmed. Yeah, no. The name, the fact that she name dropped Ursula this early on, I already know where they... <laughs> I already know. Ursula, I'm about to put Ursula right in here with you too. Don't worry, dear. Me and Incredi Squirrel are on the case when I plant Goofy gets in my way. Yeah, see, I made the mistake of making Goofy my gardening buddy too, and it just was, it was not good. She's definitely jealous. She a hater, y'all. <laughs> she is a hater if I've ever seen one. She just mad because I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> I mean, come on. Stop it. Me? I look run down? <laughs> Where? You are a sight for sore eyes. Kristoff, don't say that no more. You see the shovel? I dig a lot of holes. I can build one big enough for you, okay? Go find Anna. Whew. These villagers, they crazy, y'all. <laughs> Mickey gets in the way. Yeah, that's why I've been using Remy. Remy is really good. If you haven't assigned Remy a role yet, oh, you haven't because you're going to get Remy. When you get Remy, it'll be perfect for you to assign him as a gardening buddy. <gasps> Not Remy's house. Oh, no. Okay. Remy's house. No. Can you not go inside? Nope. See? Okay. No one, Kristoff. Oh, no. My sled. It's broken. <laughs> it's the you're a sight for sore eyes for me. Okay, so we literally can't go anywhere. Where is Merlin? We need to find him ASAP. This is not good. Okay, he's at the beach. He is at the beach. Merlin! Merlin, we need you now. What are you doing with Ursula? Confound, it's Ursula. I have a spell, but it, I can't be the one who performs it. It must be you. Look at Ursula's face. Fine. Once again, I'll do all the work. Just remember, you brought me to this spell. You brought me this spell. Your hands aren't clean of this, old man. What is going on here? I'm putting my trust in you, Ursula. Do not make me regret it. Okay, so listen to Merlin. So I was just overhearing something then. Talk to Merlin about the curse and find out if Ursula can help you. Oh, Lord. We have to work with Ursula Hello. again. Oh, Lord be with us. Greetings, my friend. I have Remy for gardening and Wally for mining since those are the tasks I do the most. Yeah, that's actually a good, a good set right there. I like that. Aren't you glad you didn't put Maui's house there? Oh, yes. But you see, you were right. They would have been literally talking through um, stones. <laughs> His house was there. <laughs> Greetings, my friend. What? Oh. Dot, so all this dark magic is Mother Gothel's doing? Ugh, I should have known. We better keep an eye on her. Mm-hmm, we better keep an eye on her. 
Oh, I'll be watching Mother Gothel. The last thing we need around here is someone mucking about with the curses and dark magic. Most of the villagers are stuck in their houses uh, by this blasted curse. Ursula and I were able to break free only because we cast some magic of our own to ward it off. To break this curse, we'll have to restore the Pillar of Trust, but that may come at a terrible cost. I know of a spell that could work, but it's dangerous. It demands sacrifices you may not be willing to make. Mm, I don't know about this one. The spell will take you to another place, somewhere between here and there, where the Orb of Trust was hidden. Oh boy. It's not easy to get to, and it's dangerous to get stuck there. Okay, so what's here and there? It's a place between words, worlds made of pure Whoa, magic. I, I... In the here and there, the laws that govern our world don't apply. Oh, wow, this is crazy. This is about to get crazy, y'all. I'm excited. Oh, my. I'm wearing the right outfit for this, aren't I? I can't explore the cave. I can't get to it. Oh, yeah, Esther, let us know which one. The cave on Dazzle Beach. Yes, I have Remy, too, for gardening. You're right. He stayed right out of the way. Yep, it's perfect. He's so tiny. He's just back there. Hubs is good. He's had some sort of kidney blockage. Probably a stone. Lots of pain. And I'm good on driving. Have premium. So you're like my radio. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. You set, you're set up, Claire. I'm glad he's doing okay. I had a kidney stone and it was one of the worst pains besides uh, labor <laughs> ever. I mean, it was excruciatingly painful. So I hope he gets well soon. I talked to Merlin now. I have to explore the cave. Do I need to unlock something? Yeah, Esta, you're gonna, if you're working on the Dazzle Beach quest, then you're gonna need to go talk to Ursula and unlock Ursula. Sorry if y'all heard that banging. My husband's up there playing Fall Guys. <laughs> okay, in here and there, the laws that govern our place don't apply. One may pass through things and see that that shouldn't be seen. Oh, no. One might even take a leap of faith and walk on air. But usually things or people that go to the here and there never come back to tell tales of what they've seen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Will I be able to come back? I'm, I want to come back, Merlin. The magic of the Pillar of Trust made whole again should be enough to summon you back to Dreamlight Valley. We'll just have to hope the sea witch can be trusted. Listen, tell Ursula she play with me. It's going to be on. Okay. I will take her entire house and just delete it. She won't have anywhere to stay. <laughs> okay. What is the spell? One for which you'll need Ursula's help. I'm afraid this type of magic is not my specialty. Off with you now. Great. Not to do, not to do. Luckily, she's right here where we need her. Oh, here you By the way, if any of you guys have trouble with getting Ursula to come in from the ocean, someone said to try to take a picture with her. Just point the camera in her direction and she should come over. Or stand on the... Um, the pier over there okay how typical once again a bearded old geezer <laughs> leaves all the dirty work to yours truly and to you apparently tell me dot are you ready to do whatever it takes uh anything for dreamlight valley this is our home now <laughs> not look at her face uh-uh ha we'll see about that now, dearie, some of us managed to break free of the dark magic running rampant in the village, but we'll need to give uh, something up to free the others. <laughs> she plotting, y'all. I don't know. Who says old geezer these days? <laughs> no. Oh, boo. Okay, Merlin gave me his trust. Given our history, that was probably enough of a sacrifice. As for me, I'm sacrificing my pride for the greater good. Marvelously noble of me, isn't it? That leaves Chris. Oh no, not Kristoff. That leaves Kristoff. He fought off the curse before it could lock him up. It's up to you to get something from him. The greatest sacrifice of all. His love. <gasps> what? He must be willing to give up all of his memories of his. <gasps> Yo, I low-key just got goosebumps. Not give up all his memories of his love, Anna. I mean, he don't really love her. He'd be flirting with us, but it's fine. Okay. To save the village. Not that's all. Easy. Oh, no. I could be petty and say that's all. But no, that's really awful. I can't. You have to. It's the only hope to save your friends. And we'll need a few ingredients to complete the spell. Make sure you bring back a few dream shards and night shards. 
When you have all that, come to the cave where we first met. I'll do my magic on the spell there. Why this is terrible. So <gasps> oh, no. He said he's not a player. He just crushed a lot. <gasps> this is so bad. Oh, no, Kristoff. Okay, we have we have plenty of dream shards and night shards. Uh oh. Okay, so tomatoes need to be watered twice. One time and then a second time. Maybe they'll grow after this. Let me water let me take a break from this crazy quest. Oh, it is quiet in the valley. Do you guys hear how quiet it is? Oh man. Ursula is such a damn snake. <laughs> she really is. She's just a slimy, scheming snake. That's okay, though. Don't y'all worry. She gonna be housed right in the Glade of Trust with, with her bestie, okay? Both them little witches can stay in there and witch it up together. Leave the rest of the valley to us. Okay, we're almost... We almost got all of these watered. I'm very curious to see how much these onions sell for. I'm excited. Hopefully we don't have to water them again. All right, where would Kristoff be? Oh, look at Anna. She's just at home, like oblivious. Oh, she's stuck in the house actually right now. Okay, it looks like Kristoff is on the beach, so let's run over here and see if we can find him. Pretty sure she's an octopus, but also her house fits perfectly in that pool at the end of the Glades River. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly where she's going. I think that's where Munchie uh, actually has her, too. <laughs> but that swamp is villain, villain. Yeah. Villain, villa. Literally. Yes, Debbie. Everything gets super expensive. Like, 20k and up. Hi. Veggies and uh, fruits and veggies is the way to go. That's where you have her, Claire. <laughs> that's, trust me, that's where she's going when I get done, okay? Dot, what's going on? There's all this magic everywhere. I barely managed to fight it off. It's a curse that Mother Gothel whipped up. Um, oh no. <gasps> Look at this. You don't really need your memories of Anna, right? Anna, I mean. So, Danny, I unlocked Anna doing um, one of the storyline quests. No, no, no. I unlocked Anna by going to the castle and um, you go into one of the realms. It's the far left hand uh, door on the bottom floor. I thought we were actually going to be getting um, Elsa, but you get Anna instead. You'll get Elsa at a later date. Okay. Oh, I don't know what to say. I kind of want to say you don't really need your memories of Anna, but I feel like that's very insensitive. I need your help to break it. I'll do anything. Tell me what you need. I need you to agree to give up your love for Anna and all of your memories of her. Ooh. What? That's crazy. Anna's everything to me. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll never give up my memories of her. Um, I could say fine. I can't make you do this, but this is kind of a cute answer. You'll get to fall in love with her all over again. Oh, yeah, sorry. Munchie. <laughs> okay, Frozen is not on the bottom floor. That's correct. Wally, Remy, and uh, Moana are on the bottom floor. It's definitely the second floor. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Look, the one time... Look, Wells, I'm telling you, the one time we asked this man for help, but look. Look at him. Mm-mm-mm. You'll get to fall uh -huh. in love with her all over again. I guess that's true. We'll have all those warm, fluttery feelings again. The ones you get when you first fall in love. And all of this will help Anna too, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if it's the only way to save the valley, yeah. I'll do it. The love I have for Anna and her friends for me... Wait, for Anna and her love for me will survive anything. I trust you to help me get my memories back. But for now, I'll give them up. Oh. So long. All right, Kristoff, you may not be so bad. But you also could just be scamming because you don't really like Anna like that. Don't let me find out, okay? Anna's a sweet girl. Anyways, thanks for your help. <laughs> I know, Wells. I mean, we're not asking for a lot. 
We're just telling the man to forget everything he knows and everything he loves. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Jeez. <laughs> Get over yourself, right? Am I right? <laughs> Okay, I haven't unlocked Anna yet either. Do you need a quest to unlock the door in the castle or just when you have the money? Uh, so just when you have, I believe it's just when you have enough dream light. Okay. Let's put the, move those over. Yeah, we can move all this stuff over too while we're here. Butamus. So let's bring over some dream shards and some night shards. Cool. Meet Ursula in the cave where you first met. Oh no, not in the cave. I heard the money is in the pumpkins. Uh, cook and sell them. Hey, Anon, welcome in. And yeah, I actually saw, I wish I remember the creator's name, but I saw a video on this and it, it does take a lot of time to cook the pumpkins, but you can make upwards of like 800K if you cook the pumpkins and sell them. Pumpkins and sell them. Not pumpkins. Pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, so there's money in it if you've got like 40 minutes to an hour. Oh, everybody's here. Okay. How nice you are to everyone. Okay, Christoph, we just made you give up all of your memories of your true love. You don't have to be so nice. Hello, dear. The boy accepted. Aren't you the persuasive, persa persuasive one, Dot? I'm almost impressed. Now, there's only one more sacrifice to be made. Yours. I need your magic. Oh, no. This is not going good, y'all. Yeah, I, I'm more of a planting and selling. When you got to cook the food to sell it, it just gets a little bit too finicky for me. Okay. Um, this is a trick. A trick. Don't be ridiculous, Dot. I have bigger plans for you than merely taking your magic. I don't like when she does her little face and head like that. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to blame someone, blame Mother Gothel. She created this curse. It'll plague us forever if we don't stop it. Now that I have all the ingredients, I can work my magic. Travel to the here and there, recover the orb of trust, and fix the curse. And don't dilly dally, dearie. Our fate is in your hands. Oh, what's that? Why are we smiling? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a lot. This is a lot. Not that thing taking our soul. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this is trippy. Oh, this is trippy. This is so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a picture. Okay. There you are. <laughs> he can see us, but we can't talk. Okay, retrieve the Orbit Trust from the floating island. Oh, wow. Can we fast travel? Okay, we can fast travel. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so creepy. Okay, I'm just going to follow the light. Look at our little footsteps on the ground. Oh, this is fun. This is so cool. It's like you're in the in-between. Oh my God, we're literally living it out. Stranger things. Oh, we forgot a jewel on the ground. Y'all, this is crazy looking. Oh boy. We're walking on air right now. <gasps> Danny, this is exactly what Minnie looks like. Is she stuck in, she's stuck in the in-between? <gasps> what a great observation. Whoa. I thought we weren't able to pick up the orb. Wow, this is so cool. I love it. Sorry, I just keep taking pictures because like I got to have a picture of this. Sorry. <gasps> Look. Okay, put the orb of trust back into the pillar. Okay.
No way, that took you forever. What, this quest? We've done it! You couldn't pick it up when you're solid. Okay, you had to be in the in-between in order to grab it. I see. Or between the here and there, I guess is what it's called. <laughs> it's possible that way. I see. Ha. Oh, Mother Gothel. Looks like you couldn't swing it. Yes, find that orb and then finding where to place it. Oh! Yeah, I looked up and I saw the yellow in the sky, so I just ran in that direction. It's kind of hard to see where to go. Yeah, it's the upside down. You're right, Claire. <laughs> All right, let me find Mother Gothel. Where is she? She's in, okay, she's in the house. Can somebody get her a real door? Um, yeah, she's definitely not in here. I wish we had a tree house. <gasps> oh, it's actually sunny in the glade. It looks so much nicer here now. Okay. You're looking a bit run down, Dot. Just teasing. Okay, girl, oh, bye. Hello, dear. And once again, you save the day, just like always. Yeah, I'm the best. Ugh, how appalling. I fed into your already overinflated ego. Wait, you really don't remember, do you? Well, then let me be the first to welcome you back. Back to the valley that was once your home. <laughs> you are a ruler, your majesty. I knew it! I knew it! I knew we were the ruler. They're forgetting us, us growing up and forgetting about, you know. Oh, this might be a spoiler. Oh, no. Okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, guys, if you, have, if you haven't got to this part and you don't want to see any more, you should probably just leave the live now because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So just a heads up. I won't click through until you guys give me the okay. Is everybody okay with me moving forward? I'm sorry, I don't wanna spoil it for anybody. But I did, I did, I had a feeling this was gonna be it. I mean, it didn't take a genius to figure it out, but it's definitely. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to continue. Anybody who doesn't want to see the rest of it, make sure you exit out now because there are definitely going to be some spoiler alerts. All right, we're the majesty. I knew it. Ha, huh. I know a performance when I see one, and you, my dear, are no performer. <laughs> cool. Long ago, you reigned over these lands. It was a prosperous enough, I suppose, and you made a ridiculous number of friends. But then you started to change. Oops, I clicked too fast. Then you started to change. Um, while you were gone, something evil started to grow and grow until it caused the forgetting. You read it in a Reddit post? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, if you want to end the forgetting, you'll have to find a way to reach it and root it out. Keep exploring these lands, your majesty. Maybe you'll f even find someone to help you with that. Marvelous. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We're gonna have to become best friends with her because look at what we get at level eight and at level 10. Ooh, and the hair at level five. I love the rings. Do we get the rings and the nails? <gasps> Ooh, do we get the rings and the nails? Oh, I need that ASAP. Hmm, her story doesn't quite add up though. Ooh, I would be surprised if she was lying. Hi, Kimberly, welcome in. I'm playing on um, PC. Those nails are so far. If you wrote the journals as you were forgetting, you wouldn't have just disappeared and then it came. That's true. Like, why would we leave? I never take them off. I would have figured it out if she's telling the truth. Okay. Hmm. All right. What do we want her to be doing? We should make her. Oh, my God. We should make her digging just because she would hate that. <laughs> We should make her a digger. Yeah, that is some something else happened. They said that there was a dark entity that came though.
Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. There's something. There's something funny going on here. We're gonna get to the bottom of it though. <laughs> All of us, myself, and Incredi Squirrel, will get to the bottom of this. Um, we're gonna make her a uh, a digging companion. I think gardening and mining levels faster because we do so much of it. Not Maui made his way over here ASAP. Hello. Oh, good. The valley's goofer. Oh, she disrespectful, y'all. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me you've had time to obtain an artifact for me. I'm desperate in desperate need. <laughs> well, this goofer has something else to do. <laughs> What else could someone as dull as you be doing? I'm just teasing, dear. Don't be so serious. Come back soon. I don't like her. Are you still here? Hey. I don't like her. I don't like her, but I kind of like her at the same time. Okay, what do you need? That merchant with the feathers. Stooge is it? He has a magical scroll, the sun scroll. It doesn't lead to riches, so it's completely useless to him. It does lead to the sunstone, though. A magical artifact that will help us restore the giant willow in the glade. Plus, there's an insignificant little side effect that keeps me forever young. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is that everyone will benefit. I doubt the merchant even knows what the sun scroll does. So be a deer and fetch it for me. I don't like the word fetch. I don't like the way she talked to us. <laughs> Has Mr. McDuck agreed to give it to you? No, in so many words, but that can be quickly fixed. We'll simply spy on him, lure where he hid the sun scroll, and then we'll take it for my our shelves. Um, I think I'll just talk to Scrooge directly. Ugh, I should have known you couldn't do such a simple task. Fine, run along then. Maybe Scrooge McDuck will make a deal with you. Uh -huh. As long as you bring me back the scroll, I don't care how you do it. Girl, one thing about us, we not finna lie to our friends, okay? Can you not? Can, can you just not? Goodness. All right, let's take a picture with this, um, dramatic one right here. push her in the lake <laughs> oh my god we really should push her in the lake we really should because she is too much you know when we're taking pictures i wish they made some sad faces too or like angry faces that would be nice lord she not teasing she a dead ass no she's literally like so bad Daddy said, lady, bye. <laughs> I think you just do more gardening and mining. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think it's more gar gardening and mining are like one of, two of the major things that you do. Hmm, I guess I haven't leveled up enough with her to hear the story quest from her. Dang, I wish I had uh, thought to take pictures along these quests. Yeah, I try to make sure I take pictures um, wow. with these quests as much as possible. I suppose everyone's been telling you that I'm the bad guy. Oh. All right, come on, girl. We're going digging. We need to improve our relationship with you as quickly possible because <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but baby, I need those rings. I need those rings. It'd be cool if this bridge, like, formed and then we could walk across and that could be, like, a gardening plot over there. That'd be cool, right? Okay, where's the best place for us to have a little garden? It'd be nice around this little pond in between these trees. That's a nice little area. We could do it there. And let's see what's over here. We could have a big area over here off to the side. Not, um, <laughs> Donald. What you doing over here, Donald? All right, let's get some of these, ooh, lemons. I love lemons. I really, really do. All right, we're gonna collect those up. Let's add some things to our chest over here. Okay, so we need to add in. Let's add the lemons over, some more of these, yep. Okay, very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and make our gardening plot. I think we're gonna put a plot over here like in this area 
Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem even enough, huh? I'm so indecisive. Let's just put it here for right now. It doesn't need to be super big. Oh, Deanna, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful night. Get some good sleep. Thank you, thank you so much as always. I'll catch you on the next one. Huh, apparently Ursula is a uh, Cassalia. Half human, half octopus. I almost wonder what the actual name of her species was. That's so interesting. I didn't even know that that had a name. That's so cool. Yeah, I was... Debbie, that's a really good question. I think that, yeah, it's like pick... I don't even know if picking up sticks counts. Like maybe like picking the fruits and vegetables and stuff. Yeah, foraging is definitely an interesting one. All right, level three. So that means we get the sword motif. Nice. Shekele. <laughs> Sekele. Oh, Sekele is apparently how it's pronounced. I've never heard it said. Yeah, me either. I've never heard of that at all. Very cool, though. Very cool, though. All right, let's also do something really quick while we're here. Let's keep all of our, let's get all of our trees and stuff into one area. So we've got a cocoa tree. We'll put the lemon tree over here for right now, but I think we'll put the lemon, we'll just make sure we keep everything in the same area. So lemon trees over here. I like to organize it this way just because it's a little bit easier when it comes to like gathering and everything. Let's grab this other cocoa tree. Uh, put it right here. Nice. And let's just see if there's anything else around here. Does anybody else do this? <laughs> Is that a harvestable right there? Oh no, it's just a bush. Just a bush, false alarm. There we go. Actually, we can move these down like so. I think foraging is just the fruit trees, bushes, mushrooms, and herbs. Yeah, because I heard, I read somewhere, or I think somebody made a comment that like picking up sticks doesn't even count, which is kind of, it's kind of crazy. It's like, why, why would that not count? But Okay, nice. I think that's good. Sorry, I accidentally hit the mic if y'all heard that. Oh, you didn't plant them, so that's the difference. Got it, got it, got it. I deleted all the trees so I could forage quickly. Yeah, you and Munchie both. <laughs> Said, get this shit out of here. All right, so let me see. We need to upgrade Goofy's stall over here, too, so we can see what um, what things we can... Uh, can we not put a hole right here? Oh, too close to the pond, probably. Excuse me, Miss Ma'am. Okay, let's see how far it'll let us go up. Oh, maybe it was just glitched out. Looks like we can, oh no, we can't. Okay, right there's where it stops. Nice, we'll just do another line right here. Literally just, just doing this so that we can improve our relationship with her. <laughs> All of your forageables are in the plaza. Mickey and friends are in the meadow. Remy and Scrooge off to the side. Yep, that's smart. That's really smart. Let's grab all of this stuff. Oops, no, I didn't mean to plant that there. <sighs> Fine. She seems to like fishing too. All right, let's unlock Goofy's stand. Oh, See how much it's gonna cost. Either. If you help set up the stall in this part of the valley, it'll save you the hassle of traveling so far and you can make more deals with more products. Okay. 
<laughs> Knock me over with a feather. Look at all the look what it all has to buy. What all there is to buy. Okay, so we've got cucumber and what is that? Howdy. Oh, that's okra. What is this? Okay, rice seed and okra. Oh, nice. So this is where everybody says okra is a money maker. We're about to find out. We want to improve the stall. 5,000. Yes, please. All right. Let's see if we got okra seeds with that one. Howdy. Okay, bye. Spinach seed. So we've got spinach rice, so they're going to make us upgrade one more time. I might not even have enough money for this last upgrade. Oh. Greetings, neighbor. Nope, I don't. Okay, perhaps oh. some other time. Goodbye now. So actually, which one, do you guys know which one's better to plant right now? Um, or actually, we can figure out. So buy. Okra is worth 171. Yep, this is rice is worth 92. That's not a bad investment. Let's plant a bunch of rice. Like maybe do 50. I don't know how much of a plot we have over there right now. Let's just do 50. And we'll plant up some rice. Okay, okra. Yeah, I heard I heard okra was a big payout. I did hear that. So we're going to get this all planted up. I know it's not helping our relationship. Our relationship is to dig, but... Ooh, you get three per plant. Ooh, it's just like the tomatoes. Very nice. Yeah, upgrading the stand is really important because it gets you um, better seeds so you can make more money. So I think I had to upgrade Goofy Stall twice, two or three times, in order to get the carrot seeds. I do like that even if you're not doing the um, the original like task that you've given or role that you've given to your buddy, that it still improves the relationship a little bit. I really want those nails and the rings. <laughs> I want them bad. Yeah, so we should just hang out. Just We're just going to bring her along with literally everything that we do. <laughs> Okay. Hello, dear. Um, let's see. I have something to give you. Oh, creatine and pumpkin. Okay, we actually have the creatine, I think. <gasps> now you'll always know to listen to mother. True, it's great that they still get um hearts. Yeah, I do. I like that. I like that feature. I like it a lot. All right, so I think I got some creatine. I think it's in the house. So let's grab that and gift it to her to improve our relationship a little bit. Not you being right in front of the, excuse me, miss ma'am. <laughs> My goodness. Luckily, it's not worth too much gold because <laughs> I don't know if I want to give her any expensive. Anything expensive. Okay, I have something to give you. She's so, she's so irritating. Spam her some flowers and favorite things of the day. Okay, yeah, that's smart. That's smart. All right, I got plenty of flowers for you, girl. Come on, come over here. Come on outside. Let me check out this necklace she gave us, too. Excuse me. Get out of my way. <laughs> Let's see this neckwear that we got. Mmm. It's very gaudy for my taste. But I guess nice overall. All right, so uh, I have some flowers from her area too that she'd probably Hello. like. Have something to give you. Yeah, here we go. You could take one of these. Oh, she's loving it. She's loving it up fast. Okay. Citrine, I think is how that one's uh, pronounced. Thank you guys so much because I literally am so bad with pronunciation. Citrine. Okay, got it. Okay, so we got the new long curly hair. Cool, cool. 
And when she's in the restaurant, cook and serve her order. Ooh, I didn't know that you could do that with people. Hello. <laughs> okay, so uh -huh. let me see if there's, because we need to be working on Maui's quest too. I don't see any more, anything else near the ponds. We'll fill that back in. Let's go check around the other pond over here. The restaurant gets you tons of friend point. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's go to the restaurant really quick. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch over here. Look at that. Yeah, you can give flowers. You can actually gift um, meals and stuff. Like, if you gift them anything, it'll improve your relationship. Really, none of, the, none of these are going to be worms. Thank goodness. Oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. This why does this always happen? Oh, that might be what it is. I cause I let me go see. Hold on. Let's travel up here and go to the restaurant. Okay, Goofy's in the restaurant, so maybe we can serve him a meal. Okay, so y'all guide me through this because I've never done this before, so this is really interesting. Ariel and Ursula like gems. I zip them um, both straight up with their levels just by hoarding gems. Nice. Okay, so he wants a peanut butter sandwich. So if I go over here and cook a peanut butter sandwich and then serve it to Goofy, it would improve our relationship? Cook. Of course it helps if I'm your teacher. Because maybe I already unlocked it and I just don't know that yet. Do I have any peanuts? Oh, I have a peanut butter sandwich in my inventory. Hell yeah, okay. Oh, I did not realize. Oh, it's right here. I learn something new from you guys every single time we play. I love y'all so much, y'all are great. Okay, so I have your order. Oh, hey, get that PB&J. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Okay, I like that. I had no idea. I literally thought he'd been sitting in there just waiting forever because he just... Oh my gosh, bless me. Bless me, bless me, bless me. And you can upgrade it to three tables. Okay, I probably need to upgrade the restaurant for that, right? Debbie, you might have to, yeah, you might have to improve your relationship or finish some more quests for Remy. Yeah, and make sure you serve them the meal that's over their head. Okay, so let me craft up this fish trap. Now we're working on Maui's quest because he wants to be able to uh, plant the coconut trees. So we need to do a fish trap. Which is kind of cool because if you just place this in the water, um, you should be able to catch eels, which is pretty cool. Or maybe it'll catch other fish too. Okay, place the fish trap near the dock on Dazzle Beach. Um, Miss Mams, Hello. you can go. Bye. Oh. See you, girl. <laughs> I bet I'm the first demigod you've met, right? Uh, yes, that's true. Actually, you are the first demigod that we've met. Yes, I did serve their meal. Hmm, I'll research her some more. Yeah, you, it may just be that you need to improve your relationship with Remy a little. Or you need to upgrade the restaurant. Because I'm not sure how I got that, to be honest. Okay, we're supposed to place it... Oh, maybe we just... Hmm... Okay, hold on. Let's see. Do I need to place it somewhere where I can walk up and access it? Or if I just place it right here, will it work? I guess I can always just pick it up and move it. Yes, 
yep, that's probably not going to work. <laughs> that's probably not going to work. It's a, It was an idea, but yeah, I don't think that's going to work right there. So let's place it. Let's place it here. Technically, Ariel is also somewhat of a demigod. The lore is that she's like Poseidon's grandchild or something. Ooh, that's very interesting. Okay, so we have our trap there. Now let's go back and talk to Maui. What do you call a quarter god? <laughs> Uh, Debbie, I'm placing down an eel trap. So basically, Maui wants to be able to plant coconut trees, and he can make coconut trees grow from eels that he plants in the sand, apparently. Maui always <laughs> has time for his Any moment now, an eel is going to come sniffing around those Ooh. worms. So now that you have, uh, so now you have to check that trap uh, often and catch whatever swims nearby. Come back to me when you've caught one. You're okay. Catch an eel attracted to the bait in the fishing trap. Oh, yeah, there's so many people to unlock. All right, so now I guess I just wait. Yeah, okay, I guess we do just wait. We could do some fishing while we're here, too. Let's go ahead and see what we can get right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Ursula. Girl, what are you doing here? She just be popping up out of nowhere, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, there we go. Oops, I messed it up. Okay, I'm gonna try this trick. Somebody commented and said, instead of watching it, just do it off of sound. So I'm gonna try that right now. Oh, it worked. Oh, I caught an eel. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. So the fishing trap is not to actually catch the eel. It's more so just to um, bring them into the water so you can fish them. So if you close your eyes and just listen for the sound instead of watching, it's so much easier to fish. That actually works. Oh, I, that's actually really, really good. Okay, cool. You can also turn the camera to face the character and just click, click when she spasms. Ooh, I'm going to try that one next. I like that. <gasps> look, we did look just like Minnie. She's caught in between the here and there. Oh, no. She's just walking around in that dark gray place. <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> Minnie, oh, no. Where's Maui? Please don't tell him he's asleep. Okay. No, he's not asleep. What's he doing up in the forest of valor? Okay, so let's go and talk to him and tell him we got the eel. Hello. Dot, there you are. I've been telling folks about my many accomplishments. Also, giving hair care tips. Oh, you found an eel? Hmm. Great, now all we have to do is plant it on the beach. Oh, and don't forget to water it. Soon you're going to have a coconut tree, courtesy of yours truly. Yep, I'm going to enjoy that coconut in my belly. Be sure to bring me one. Okay, see ya. Okay, bury, we have to do the dirty deed of burying the eel on the beach. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. He is so loud behind us. Look at the onions. They look so cool. Okay. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. See, I almost, I almost messed up. I almost messed up. Just that fast. That's how fast it happens. I wish you could invite someone to the restaurant so they could sit down and eat with you. That would be cool too. Like, hey, you wanna go grab some food at Remy's restaurant? I give this village five stars. Wonderful, oh, Remy. Sure. Can I borrow you for a second? Mm -hmm. Au revoir. We just gotta go pick some onions. You can even have one for the restaurant if you want. <gasps> you get something big. Oh, oh. Let's harvest up these onions and get down to the beach and plant this eel then. You look great, Dot. Thanks. Is Maui following me? Oh, he's following me, so we... <laughs> All 
I was like, huh? Okay, we've got onions. So this restaurant up at my house um, makes these fried onions, like they're onion bulbs. Uh-oh. I know we're not going to be able to get them all, but... I mean, they blast it out everywhere. Yeah, we definitely need more time for that little uh, boost for sure. Oh, another little tip too. Do not try to pick up anything if your inventory is full. It'll all automatically turn it from blue to with like no glow. So you'll have to manually pick up everything. Oh, now I can't wait to plant the eel. Look at that. Remy is putting out. Yes, sir. I'm excited to see how much money we're going to make off these onions. We are definitely low on cash right now, too. Okay, we are dead broke. Trying to save this valley. Just running, running me dry. Pockets is empty. <laughs> Glad to know everybody else is doing so well. And we just struggling. I swear, this, this game is so hard to get off. <laughs> like, I just want to keep playing and keep playing and keep playing. Oh, man. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Another memory. Let's see. Does anybody know why the orbs are different colors? Monsters Inc. Another one of my favorites. I don't think I've been this addicted to a game since what game did I play like this? Like The Sims is one of those games that like when it when The Sims first came out or any new Sims game came out, Sims 1, 2, 3, 4, I was addicted to it just like this. So it's been a long time since I've ever like, I've come across a game where I'm like, oh my God, I cannot stop playing or thinking about this game. I just got this game a few days ago. I hit level 40 in a few hours. You hit level 40 in a few hours? That's insane. Discord is trying to figure out if orb color signifies anything, but it seems uh, random so far. Okay. It definitely feels random. I have lost so much sleep playing this game. As for the orbs, I think it has to do with how you earn them or where you find them. Oh, so if they come out of the ground while you're gardening, maybe they're a certain color. Thanks, Kellen. Are different with a memory? Mm, could be, could be. All right, let's see what we get. So we've got 50... 100, 150, 160, what, one? Woo! Uh, oh, boy. All right, onions are definitely better than canola. And I'll tell you why. Because they are definitely, they sell for more. And two, you only have to water them twice versus canola, you have to water them three times. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that is the money that we needed. Oh, my gosh. Essa, you love The Sims? Which one's your favorite? I think my favorite is still hands down Sims 3, but Sims 4 has been way too glitchy to play lately. I'm kind of upset with how they've gone about not fixing that game. This is so fun. I got to go uh, make some money and plant before I go to bed. Thank you all so much for the info and for the live. You two on the addiction. <laughs> Yes, Debbie, get to the onions. The onions is where the money is at. All right. Okay, that's so nice. That's so nice. Okay, what else do we have to sell? Um, okay, lemons are worth some money. Oops, I didn't mean to exit out. Uh, let's sell this fish. We have to plant the eel. All right, we're good. Oh, I'm so happy with how that money was made just then. All right, so let's run on down. Sims 3 is hand down, hands down, boss. You know it. That game is superior. Superior. And Sims Free Play. Yeah, I've heard good things about Sims Free, free Play. 
Yeah, it's definitely taking a backseat. Thank you so much for coming, Debbie. I hope you have a wonderful night. Get some good rest and make some money in that game. All right, so let's plant this coconut tree. Let's plant it uh, right here. All right, now let's water it. There we go. Okay, so it says, tense the crop until it grows into a coconut tree. Very nice. Well, I hear a memory around here somewhere. Where is it? Do y'all hear that? Oh, it's not the, it's not a memory, it's the well. I'm like, huh, what is that noise? Souffle is also the moneymaker, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you tested that recently? Anon, because I um, I heard that they kind of like, um, it doesn't I sell for as much as it used to. Sims 3, definitely. I had to download so many CC just to make the Sims 4 enjoyable. Yeah. CC and mods, especially. You can hear a memory. Interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, the memories kind of make that like that noise. It sounds kind of like the well when they're um, sitting on the ground. You hear that in the background? It's like, eh. I feel like that's what the memories sound like. Okay, yeah, the souffles are definitely a, a great way to make money, too. All right, let's pick up that. All right, so we are moving right along. Let's go ahead and get some of this dream light. Forging, gardening, cooking, friendship, village, upgrade Scrooge's store. We need to do that. Nice. You play with the sound off because I constantly have you have little kids around. Yeah, I I feel that. When I ran out of coal, I build up by selling carrots. Cause yeah, carrots are a great one because they grow so fast. We are definitely Team Onion, uh, Danny. I don't know if you saw, but we made 27, almost 28K selling those onions. And you only have to water them twice versus with canola, you have to water them three times. So I think we're Team Onion now. Whoa. For sure. <laughs> I'd say so. I'd have them perched on my shoulder if they knew I was playing <laughs> with Disney characters. Oh my God. Yeah, I could totally see that. Oh, they'd want to play. They want to play for sure. We definitely need to plant our carrots up because I don't want my plots to disappear. <laughs> Do you guys have any plans for your weekend? It's Friday night here, so the weekend is just starting. For me, I'm doing a brunch with my cousin and sister tomorrow, tomorrow morning to catch up, so that'll be fun. Yeah, I figure before we end the stream, we can finish gardening up a little bit here. That's what I love about having my house right across from my biggest gardening plot is that you can just come in here and improve some of that energy. Kimberly, you're working. Oh, make that money. I have one last biome. I have 13K in dream lights, but I'm holding on until I get Moana on 10. You are working. I respect the crime. You've got one more day to work and then you're off for three days. Ooh, push through. Those three days off are gonna be so nice. I know. Could you imagine if we lived in a world where we didn't have to work? Oh goodness, that would just be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Uh, I know that sounds lazy, but like really though, like if we're being honest, like if money wasn't such a huge thing, like I don't think majority of the world would actually want to work. I feel like so many of us work at jobs we just really hate. It's actually sad. <laughs> you work till 6 a.m.? Oh boy. Oh, you work till Monday, then three days off. Oh, 
Well, I hope you do enjoy your three days off. Do you have any plans for your time off? Oh, 12 hour shifts. Oh man, you really are grinding it out. More power to you though, that's respectful. Just rest, yeah. I totally get that. Anytime I can get a little time off, that's what I want. Just a little extra sleep, you know? Relaxation, I won't have to worry about nothing. <laughs> Everyone do trade-offs and help everybody out. Yeah, that's what they did back in the day. Right? They just, everybody just traded everything that they needed. Yeah, it's a different type of currency for real. I love the little noise that rabbits make in the background. <laughs> We're getting sleepy again. Can it rain? I wish we could just ask for rain on demand. <laughs> Use some of our magical powers to summon rain. Society got greedy, yeah? It's the world we live in now. The goal would be to actually do something you love to do for work. That would be the ultimate goal. If you have to work every day, at least it'd be something that you truly enjoy. That's my goal. That's what I'm trying to work towards. I love streaming. I love content creation. I love playing video games. If I could do this for a full-time career, it would be a dream come true. And maybe it will be one day. But that's the goal. Just work towards doing something you actually enjoy. I did see a woman say, she, she said, um, if you don't know exactly what you'd love to do for like work, then find something that you can just manage, like something you can deal with that's not going to drive you insane and bring or find your joy in doing something else, whether that's traveling or, you know, crafting a hobby, anything like that, like work a job that you can stand at least and then just find your job in something else because not all of us are going to love our jobs at the end of the day i think that's pretty good advice too just don't take jobs you know you just don't want to do that's right some people i know don't have a choice that's like the difficult part because some people no matter what have to work a job because they need money so a lot of us are in those situations, but if you do have to take a job for the meantime, work on trying to find another job that'll be better suited for you for sure. There's nothing worse than going to a job every day that you hate. <laughs> I've literally sat outside of jobs and cried in my car because I did not want to go in that bad. That's a bad place to be. Level 26, level 26. Okay, we got a nice little lamppost. All right, there we go. Now we just need to water these up. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna finish watering up, but I think that's gonna be um, the end of the stream today. It's been a great stream, I had so much fun. And that, that last quest, the curse quest, was so much fun. I enjoyed that. I'm so excited to see what else the main storyline has for us too, but we have a lot to do, like if you see I mean, all of these. And we have new quests available for Moana and Merlin. So we have a ton to do. Yes, Munchie, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream off here. Thank you guys so, 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 so much, as always, for hanging out. I've had so much fun. And I will be live again on Monday, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button. Um, that will really, really help out the stream. Thank you guys so much. I had so much fun. Good night, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy Dreamlight Valley and plant up and make some money while we're gone. Good night, good night. Thank you guys so much again. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.